Like I think some people thought we were beefing. I feel like the girls that are short shouldn't complain. For girls five five and her man is like five ten, five eleven. It's like you know, that's fine. I was watching this um, report on my TikTok. The the pop the balloon. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that's just, <laughs> right, no, we actually hey, have to first talk all, about that. that. Stuff is like, that? like it's genuinely a cancer to society. I when you're like eighteen. And you go like, when I'm 25, I'm gonna have this together, this together. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be able. Not even, not even that. It's like I'm gonna be able at that age to get this together. But now at 27, if I think to myself, at 35, I'm gonna be able to, bro. If at 35, I'm trying to get things together, just yeah, pack yeah. Count me pack out, it, and pack it, me um, up in a box, hey, send hey, me, castle. <laughs> yeah. A group of guys and girls that are out together, right? And the men don't offer to pay, then that's she's like that's crazy. Don't don't friggin' piss me off. Have you thought of having like a, another co-host? I have. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Disruption Podcast. Yes, sir. 254, I think. Yeah, hold on. Let me yeah. double check again. Hey, it's not 254. 254. Yeah. It's not the bag daddy. <laughs> I was waiting for Mao and Daniel to say It's the prince. <laughs> the prince. No Daniel, no Mawa. No intern, not even intern, bro. She's an employee at this point. Yeah, for real. So that means it's just me and Carlos in the house, and um, I got to switch while we're shooting. Switch cameras for the audio listeners that don't know about the cameras for some reason. But we said, you know what? We got to get a guest on the episode to join us, and yeah. it has to be somebody that feels like we know, like hundred percent, we can banter with this. Yeah, person. yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good conversation. Good vibes. Because yeah. if we get a guest. And then it's just weird. Yeah. And we're trying to adjust with all I know you and I would be here. looking at each other like, what did we just do? Bad. <laughs> so we went and got Wintana from Wintana. Bitter Sweet. Period. Hey guys. In the it's your girl Wintana. I'm back. Yeah. Actually, I'm not back. I'm just here on the disruption. Actually, I am back because I haven't back. been on the disruption podcast in a while. Guys, that's so sweet. You guys have me cheesing. Yeah. Look at you saying I'm vibes and stuff. Where's the energy? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, like, I think yeah. you are vibes. No, no, you're I actually vibes. Do you know how new antennas vibes? Mm. We, because you brought this up just before. We went to like an event a while ago. Yes. I think it was just Nora and I went to an event. Yes. Mm. Right. And then you were there. Mm. And then the event ended at like, what, 9.30? And they were like, yo, do you guys just want to hang out? And we went to a bar. Yeah. Um, that was a three, great time. And, and your fun. friend? We had a good time. Yeah. That, was a good seven, yeah. that was a good time. We just, we literally just zoned out and started, yeah, it was, yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. It's actually funny, you know, being in this same space, but not really hanging out. Hang, I know. And then like, I think it was, well, no, I think yesterday was my birthday and it was so cute because all of you guys individually, I'm like, oh my God, no, oh, Carlos, oh, Mara, no, Daniel, uh, I love you guys. None of us even talked to each no, other. No, we did not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was so cute. I said disruption. I uh, know, I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah it was oh, really cool. cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're yeah. right. I feel like we never actually crossed paths because different side of the city. Yeah. Um, but yeah. You know what's Big so love crazy? for you guys. I messaged you <clears throat> and I was like, you know, I'm not going to tell these guys that I'm messaging her, just cause I want to see if they're also good people. Oh. <laughs> and clearly they are. <laughs> hey, no, you're not. I feel like they all did that as well. No, you're yeah. trying to, you're, you're trying to get some points <laughs> in the friendship. Like he's, that's Cause we, funny. Cause we've done it before. With who? Um, I don't like, like a mutual friend, but a bit distant where it's like, I said, happy birthday, did you? You know, is it ever weird? Do you ever feel like, oh, am I close enough to say happy birthday to them, or do you just say happy birthday? Nah, for me, what's weird is watching people's story, holding a cake, and you don't say anything, especially if you sort of know them, right? Because I watch your story, yeah, and you're like birthday vibe or something like but that. I feel like we kind of we know each other. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it feels weird if I didn't say happy yeah. birthday. But what yeah. if you weren't that close to them, but you just happen to have them on socials, or you haven't spoken to them in a while? Yeah. Yeah. I might just like hey. if it's a good like, photo. Like, <laughs> liking is crazy though. I might just <laughs> He's like, I wanna like him, I'm not gonna say yeah. I'm letting you know I saw that it was your yeah, birthday, but you know. know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I do try to be a bit more you know, intentional with saying happy birthday to people. Mm. Um so I do try to do that, regardless of how close we are, because I know it means a lot to people. Yeah, it does. You know? it, it does. does. It's yeah. sweet. Whenever I get it's, messages, yeah. it's like Oh, this person, like, I don't know. It's cute, especially if you don't talk to them all the time. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, I, especially the older you get, like, I've never been someone that cares about my birthday too much, but it's like, the older I get, the more I'm like, this is actually a day that is significant to me. Yeah. And then for, like, other people to go, like, 
I'm celebrating you. It's actually, it's a nice feeling. It's, nice. it really it's a very is a nice, nice feeling. feeling. For people to actually care and <laughs> yeah. like send you, especially people that send you really nice messages. I love my birthday. Oh. I love my... I, Okay, are you a birthday week, birthday month? Nah, I used to girl? I used to do that for banter. Like I'd say it, like birthday <laughs> month, birthday month. But genuinely, like I love my birthday day. Even the day before my birthday, I was feeling depressed this year. I don't know what it was. I was like down, not in a good mood. You know when you just have those really like down days, you're yeah, just yeah, not feeling yeah, good? Yeah, yeah. I was having that. And I'm like, yes, my birthday tomorrow, whatever, whatever. The way I woke up in the morning, the yeah. sun, was, <laughs> sun was shining on the, Sunday, the guys. Are chirping. And I was like, this, this is just facts that I actually like, regardless of how I feel. I don't know. I just feel like it's a, again, you're, you're celebrating yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nice day to like, I feel like everything kind of stops on my birthday. I don't yeah. know why. I just feel okay. like I'm just enjoying my day, having a good time. Okay, okay. You know, you're getting nice messages from people, people, family telling you, like calling you up. This I'm like, yeah, it's really my yeah. day. I love it. Have you like created any birthday traditions like as the years go on? So like you're like, on my birthday, I do this. So on my birthday, I treat myself this way or anything yeah. like that. Um, I feel like on my birthday, I'll always do like a, like a morning breakfast with my family. Like right. every morning, oh, nice. if it's, should I pause? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's sirens in the background, but it's all right. Um, yeah, I'll have like breakfast in the morning with my. Now that I've moved out, I'll go back to yep. my like my mum's house, mm. my parents' house, and we have breakfast. But I don't know, not really traditions. I always take it slow in the morning. Yeah, my birthdays, yeah, but yeah. that's that's all I really do. You, do you do you do any anything? You yeah. Uh, I don't, but I always wanted to be that person that like spend some time away and then yeah, I, I i do that i don't do that oh man you go I, away yeah. yeah yeah every year um yeah but what i realized like every year is like a little bit closer to home <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i really get that because everyone is like yo where are you and you know yeah. um one year i went to like a waterfall oh that's nice that was nice on I, your I, actual birthday day yeah yeah like i i get up early wow yeah like 7 a.m I go off, I don't really touch my foot early in the morning, go out for like four or five hours. And then I come back, touch base with everyone at like 2 p.m. By yourself? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. And then over time, it's just, yeah, I sort of gone away, you know, you know, because now it's like everyone wants to do stuff in the morning, in the afternoon, mm. obviously people's schedule and so on. I want to get back to that though. I know Daniel used to do that as well. Yeah. He would sort of go away. In fact, I think he actually booked a place <laughs> by himself. Uh, one time, I don't know, maybe like a couple yeah. of years ago. Yeah, mm. I, I want to do stuff like that. It's nice. It, it's to really just get away, yeah. to just get away, relax, and be by yourself. Not all day, mm. not all day. Just, just even all day if you have to. Though, I, like I, I love a little. Would you do all day? Yeah, I love like a. I went away with my friend. Yeah. She booked a place. Like this was a while ago. She booked a place, an Airbnb. She got like a four night stay. And yeah. she was like, hey, do you want to join me for the last two nights? Yeah. No, you want to join me for the last two nights and then the final night you have like to yourself. Yeah. I loved it. I yeah. was having such a good time. You like, you're kind of in, there's a bit of a, uh, in countryside Victoria. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Loki, you start getting the looks and stuff, yeah. but I don't like it. And if it wasn't, it's kind of, it's scary. Yeah. But other than that, like when you're by yourself, it is kind of scary in the countryside. You're just yeah. posted by yourself. I didn't like that. But other than that, you switched off. You just kind of do your own just thing. Enjoy. I love it. So how, how was this year for you? What was yesterday like? Oh, my God. It was so nice. So I had like, what did I do? Woke up in the morning, had a really slow morning, went and had breakfast with the family. And then I checked in a ho at a hotel, went to a hotel. Yeah. Did a little hotel stay. I just what? saw your story before. I was yeah, like, I was this living, place I was living good. my breakfast life. Looks so good. The breakfast. That breakfast was so good. It was so nice. The and they were guys, good. they were like, Can we yeah. get you like can we get you anything else? You know, like um we're like, Do you have pancakes? And they're like, We'll sort that out. We don't have them, but we'll we'll sort it out. I said, Yes, thank yeah. you. Yes, you will. <laughs> thank you. I love like this is how I need to be living. You know when they have the robe in the bathroom, I had a nice bath, then went out for dinner, came back, went to a bar that was in the hotel. Yeah. It was just nice. I'm feeling, it was feeling 28, mm. which is crazy to okay. say. <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> I just dropped my age. I feel like people know my age. Yeah, yeah it's 20. I'm, it I'm t yeah, it is. It's a it blessing is. that you see another year. Like, I don't know why. 100%. We, we hide these numbers, but it's like, bro, like, some people don't get to as morbid as it 100%. Sounds. Like, this is actually a, like, if we make 96, beautiful. Do you know, That's I said right. that to myself um, on my birthday day. I was like, I, I'm actually seeing another year. I feel yeah. blessed. I feel good. 100%. Like, it's, it is a blessing. Yeah. 
It's so funny because uh, her story, uh, you just had like a image of the cake. <laughs> no, no age, no nothing. <laughs> I was uh, just like, I was like, is she 28? That's I find I, that weird though when people say like the age they yeah, turn yeah, or, yeah, like, or yeah, like, I, I guess on a cake makes a sense. Cake, but yeah. like when people have like their age in their bio and like, they, it's like, what is this? Age in bio is very it's strange. Weird. It always like, has <laughs> been. Cause I'm like, <laughs> wait, if people have age in who bio. Who cares? Like, yeah, like who cares? Who cares? Age. There's a couple like things that you can identify with that's like the only ones that always make sense to me is like flag. Yeah, like, flag, like, I guess. Yeah. What, um, what about like your partner's initials? Is that, yeah. that weird to you? Partner's initials? Yeah. Weird. Uh, he would be like L M N L K this, that, what? <laughs> yeah, I find that weird. That's weird to you? Yeah, like why? It's not necessary. It's unnecessary. Yeah. It's unnecessary. <laughs> like why is your partner on your, no one's asking you that question. Height, this height. is not a dating profile. Yeah. <laughs> height is a weird one. Like. I get it if you're an athlete, maybe. That. Yeah, no, it's, it's a thing. I've seen that a couple uh, times. Every any guy. What's the over height they're putting up? It has to be over six foot, though. Yeah, no one's putting. <laughs> no one's putting. <laughs> no one's putting five, 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 eight, five, eleven. Why? I don't <laughs> Well, under six foot, you get negative followers. If you yeah. <laughs> even six foot, no one's putting. See, they're doing six one, six yeah. two. Uh, no, but yeah. not, I haven't yeah. seen that. I've one seen yet. from guys and girls. I've no, the girls yeah. put their height. I think yeah, I've seen yeah. girls. Yeah, so like five, 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 six. Yeah. What's the ideal height though? For the guys, talk about that for girls. Is there like uh, a? Don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I don't know if you if you if you care. care. Yeah, as long as you're not taller than me, um, mm. my girl. Yeah, we're good. Mm. Yeah. So there's no ideal. I know for girls, is, is there actually? For, for, uh, girls? for girls, for yourself at least. For myself, like I feel like because I'm tall, I consider myself tall. Um, it has to be, yeah, you have to be over six, six, one. Six, six foot is like, Decent, it's okay, but even six foot these days is starting to feel short, bro. You know <laughs> what? No, you know what? This is the funniest thing ever. Literally, I think a couple of days ago, we had like a program, and there's an the inflation end, in the heights, bro. yeah. yeah bro. Like, <laughs> we were just, six we were just, foot's becoming too average, bro. You know? We were just chilling, like eating, and then these girls were like, Hey, to be honest, six foot's not that tall anymore, it's not. <laughs> I'm oh like, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, What do you mean? You don't make the cut uh, anymore, bro. Are you now, six, foot? six, huh? huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, see, this no, actually, I don't know Carlos so high. I thought he was This is what's funny to me. It's like, <laughs> it's like you say like this has, but then you don't know what six foot is, <laughs> bro. Because I feel like no, I have an understanding of what six foot yeah. is. You know, I feel like six three is now like the new six foot. Yeah, six three. Is, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, before they're like, I want this guy the six foot, six foot. Now it's like, <laughs> to be honest, I, you're too short for me. But I me do six, feel, I feel like the girls that are short shouldn't complain that much if a guy if a girl's five five and her man is like five ten five eleven it's like you know that's fine or even five <laughs> nine i mean like you should be able to I'm, pick whatever you like if you're even if you're a short girl and you want a really tall guy i think you should you should want that if you want that. i mean if you want that you like, can have wrong? that but yeah. i just feel like i just feel like to complain about yeah, it I mean, to, to complain to completely, after you have to someone completely rule someone crazy. off because like you're five you're five three I and you're that. saying oh he's not six foot babe like I you don't that. need six foot <laughs> you know what yeah, i mean yeah, that, that and if he ticks all your boxes but he's not six foot he's i think that's crazy foot, you'll be all right yeah. yeah i hear it i was watching this um it popped up on my tiktok the the pop the balloon oh my god oh my god and that's <laughs> just, <laughs> right, no, we actually hey, have to talk all, about that, that. stuff is like, that, like it's genuinely a cancer to society i actually have to start saying uninterested not interested Bro, like, because i don't want to see this yeah. stuff yeah it's, it's crazy but yeah literally in line in terms of like the six foot short whatever this girl pops the balloon and it's like oh okay you know this is a funny thing about the host she's always like oh so why did you pop your balloon she's for? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was some outrageous shit. she always keeps it so <laughs> neutral <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay. She said, okay. okay. And yeah. I'm like, what just so crazy? <laughs> Can you tell us why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and then, and, she and then she's so literally contained. looking up at this guy's like, oh, the height, I'm not feeling it. I was just like, bro, what's... <laughs> Wait, you're looking I, like this. Bro, I don't understand this height thing. You know, she's wearing heels. Maybe the guy's just slightly taller, but you pop your balloon because of the Wait, height. Wait, he didn't feel her height? Oh, no, she, she, wasn't she, did, she wasn't feeling his height, mm. but she had heels on and he was, he was still slightly taller. Mm. I was like, what do we want in this society? You know? I don't know. People want what they want. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like people really, that height ratio does matter. Especially if you're a tall girl. Like there are I girls agree. that I know that are taller yeah, than me. Girl, yeah, and yeah. it's like, you can't. You yeah. can't just have someone that, you know, you want to feel like- a little. You want to feel cute and like, <laughs> yeah. you know, supported and like comforted by your man. I hear it from the tall girls for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It makes sense. 
So now that you're you're 28 now, what? What what what? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, on this, yeah, yeah. Are you like actually? Because I was thinking about this, like, are you enjoying getting older? Yeah. And what like, what do you think separates? We're acting, okay, first yeah, yeah. Of, all right. we're acting like you're the first person to just get old yeah, 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 in no, life. Yeah? Or like the well, oldest cause, cause person was, that's been on this podcast. This no, is no, 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 no. Tell us the experience you've uh, had. A year of, yeah. Mind you guys, years. these guys are 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, we're, we're trailing. We're like, we're right behind. Yeah, right behind. Yeah. Like literally six months. Yeah. No, but because I was thinking about it and I'm like, some people really hate the idea of getting older. Mm. And some people including myself, I actually think every year that passes, like I'm enjoying this new age more than the mm. previous age. I'm like, what is it that separates that group of people that are like, I hate this thing of getting older and the ones that are like enjoying it. And like, where are you? Are you like, I'm like loving this getting older yeah. thing? Or? I feel like I do. I love, I love that I'm getting older. I was like, I feel like your mid to late twenties is such a nice time. Mm. Um, I think the pressure comes from not feeling like you're meeting all these like checkpoints. Sometimes yeah. it's like, okay, am I financially stable? Yeah. You know, do I have a successful relationship? Uh, am I on the way to buying a house? Like all those mm. things come to mind and you're just yeah. like, okay, I don't feel like I'm ready to yeah. do that. Or even like, I don't want to have kids right now, but mm. people are looking at me like, oh, you're 28. You're you know, it's looking be, like, yeah. it's looking like kids are around the corner. And I'm like, what if kids are at 30, you know? Mm. So it just uh, feels- 30 is around the corner. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Two years. I was watching this video on like the perception of time as well. Yeah. Obviously, the older you get, time is like- Time's f- flying. So if, yeah, yeah. It's, it flies. So yeah. it just feels like two years doesn't feel that far away. So maybe that's where the like anxiety comes from getting yeah. old. But other than that, like I feel like getting older is nicer. Like yeah. you just feel like you don't have time for certain things. I don't have, I'm not worried about like, I don't know, little like- shifts like friendship shifts mm. or you know things in relation like i feel like i'm a lot more secure in myself yeah. and you know you're just like things happen for a reason you're more you can trust the process yeah. of things now yeah but it does feel yeah obviously there's that pressure yeah where are you at cause with what like with getting older and stuff like are you like enjoying getting every year like yeah yeah, yeah? i think i'm loving it yeah you you're loving I mean? it yeah 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 because yeah, i think you know, as you, you know, as you get older, you're sort of exposed to different things, right? Mm. And you reach a different stage of your life as well, mm. right? You reach a stage of, you know, career and then serious relationship and then, you know, okay, cool, what does marriage look like? And then family, then kids, mm. right? Yeah. So as I'm getting older, it's like, okay, cool, that next stage, that's, that's coming up for me and I'm excited for that, Yeah. right? And then next one as well, next one as well, so... I'm I'm loving it right now. Uh, see, do you do you guys, yeah sorry? Okay, good. Do you feel ready for that next stage? Okay, because I was thinking about it. I'm like, I think this is what separates the people that enjoy getting older and the ones that don't. Is that you feel like you're getting to next stages mm-hmm. constantly? Because yeah. mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, you go from like okay, I've accomplished this to I've gotten the job that I really like to this. Because it's like suddenly the years numbers aren't the accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Do you know when you're younger, it's mm-hmm. like 16 is like sweet 16, whatever. Mm-hmm. 18 is like adult. 21 is like whatever. And it's suddenly like. And then in 25, I feels like the last time After a number that. is like significant. Yeah. Mm. Until, Until like maybe 30. 30. Yeah. Right. But in between, that's a that's the biggest gap you've experienced mm. so yeah. far. And then yeah. after that, it's like 40 mm-hmm. maybe or whatever. But it's like, then it's about hitting the goals. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you are hitting goals, I feel like that's where it's like every year is like, okay, this is nice. Yeah. But if you're not, I can see how you're like, far I'm hating this because mm. every year it feels like the goal is one year behind. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? And then it's yeah. like, if in your mind you're like, I want a house by 29, mm. right? Or whatever. It's like, now it's like I have, and I'm, and I've hit 31 and I still don't have it. It's like I'm two years behind. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Or whatever. Or if for some people it's like, oh, I want kids. And it's like, if I wanted the kids at 25 and I'm 32 right now, it's like, Rig, yeah, everyone, should be sending them to school. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And it feel it feels like that this age, I feel like 25 to 30, you're starting to see mm. big changes yeah. around with people around you. Yeah. So it's like you've got friends. I've got friends that have kids, friends yeah. that have been married, friends that are like just traveling, friends that are breaking. You know what I mean? It's like mm. people that are at different levels. Oh, yeah. And you feel like again, like comparisons, a thief of joy. Sometimes you look at it and you're like, oof, like my friends are out here yeah. doing this, doing that. Sometimes I hang out with people like from high school and I'd leave the situation. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about relationship problems and these people are having a second child, you yeah. know? So it's like, or like I'm talking about dr- like, and then I have friendship groups where we talk about something else. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like you, 
it, it's like that time where it's, it is nice getting older, yeah. but I feel like so many external factors can kind of yeah, yeah. like get in the way of you enjoying the process. 100%. Do, do we feel like we're not excited for that next phase? I, I know we are. Yeah. Right. But what about the people around you? Do you feel like they're excited for the, what that next phase in life is for them? So, for example, mm. if that next phase is the marriage stage or that next phase is, is the family. Because I know, yeah, the people around me, some of them on, on the right-hand side, they're super excited for what that next phase looks mm. like, right? But also there's ones over here who's like, oh, bro, I'm not, I don't know if I'm excited for what that next phase looks like. Mm. So I think that sort of comes into what you were saying, Right. But with the people around you, do you feel like they're, they're excited. excited for what what's next the for next them? Phase. I think so. I feel like every it's just like the unknown. I think mm. a lot of us like tend to stress out about what's happening now where you're like, okay, money is a big factor. Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like everyone's yeah. thinking, everyone, of course, the idea of getting married and having kids and okay, that's exciting, but let's be realistic. You yeah. know what I mean? What's the, what's the, what's the money looking like? What's the, can you actually go and buy a house now? Can you actually yeah. do yeah. all those things to set yourself up? And before you can think about that, you're here, you have to think about your situation right now. now. Yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of us are like excited about the idea of it. Like we sit down and we talk about kids or our kids knowing each other and all that. Yeah. But I think we're also <coughs> in a stage where we're at a stage where we're a lot more realistic and we're yeah. thinking about okay, how we're gonna how we're gonna build right now to get yeah. to this point. So yeah. there's a little bit of like I wouldn't say worry, but just kind of like thinking about how that's gonna how we're gonna make it happen because you're really in the thick of it. Yeah. These are the years you, where you're like you are yeah, you're really yes. you're not even like your like, mind is consumed yeah. with like yeah. yo mm. if and once this is done I need to do I this. need to do this and once this is done I need to then yeah. think about this and I need to what I, and it's like there's no car ride where you're just Jamming to the music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Early 20s is almost like, early Bro. 20s, teens, you're like Fun. imagining. You're yeah. like, you know what I mean? You're just thinking about, you know how you just have like, um, what do you call it? Not daydreams, but where you just like, like romanticize your Literally, life. Yeah, like when I'm it. in this age, this is what I'm, there's no when I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. And if it, it's not looking like what yeah. I was imagining back then. You, you, so you, you have yeah. to like, you know what I mean? It's like, you're just more concerned, about, like, just concerned with that. You know why? Because like, when you think about it, like when you're eight, and you go like when I'm 25 I'm gonna have this together this together I'm gonna get I'm gonna be able not even, not even that it's like I'm gonna be able at that age to get this together but now at 27 if I think to myself at 35 I'm gonna be able to bro if at 35 I'm trying to get things together yeah, yeah. Count, count me count out and, and pack up. me up in a box hey, send hey, me castle me <laughs> yeah bro you know how pick it is for you to be driving not jamming to music because you're thinking Guys, do, you know how, yeah. do you know how much I drive in silence these days bro. it's like today I was thinking about I'm like, I just want to be happy. I want to switch bro. my brain off. Bro. And I just want to be like, I don't want people asking me what I've got going yeah. on. I don't want people asking me what's coming <laughs> up. I just want to, I just don't yeah. want that. You know what I mean? I just want to live my life. And I feel like I can't. Do you, do you have anything in life that is, um, that is <laughs> a space where you can switch off completely? What do you mean? Like as in you, you are able to enter this place and not think about any of the problems in your life. Like, I'll give you an example. Like for me, it's playing football, right? Like soccer. Mm. So it's like when I do that for like two hours a week or whatever, I will, I will literally not think of anything outside of this thing, right? And I think it's healthy. That's really good. Right? Like, yeah. oh, no joke, like the other day, right? <laughs> it was one of those days where you just think about everything yeah. and you just start, start almost panicking. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna break down. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna break down in the yeah. morning, bro. You know, <laughs> to the point, I'm in the bathroom, bro, I just, Squatted, sat like this on the <laughs> against the bench. And I just said, like, what's going on? What's going what's on? What's going on? What's going on? And that, yeah, I think it was that evening. I was just like play football. So I forgot it. Like it didn't happen. <laughs> See, I like that. No, I don't think I have. I think oh, I have the gym. Like I go to the gym. Uh, um, I go to the gym like maybe every like now. I'm yeah. not going consistently. I'll say like two times a week. Yeah. There, it's kind of like that hour where I'm just okay. th doing That's that. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, but I feel like. I don't know, maybe like there's some some moments when I'm just at home by myself. Yeah. I just have a TV show on. That's I nice. have like my, that, that is yeah. peak happiness for me, guys. The heater is blasting. Yeah. I get a mattress, I put it in the living room and I just sit there to myself. Because even now going going home to the parents, yeah. you're just getting looks. Yeah, you're just question. getting, <laughs> yeah. you know. I think we, like we, as in us, do this to ourselves as well. Because like mm. we don't just live lives where it's career and home. Mm. yeah you know yeah. what i mean it's like it's work and do things and whatnot and then come home and then it's like i have to think about 
all this other stuff I've committed myself to. Yeah. And also we're taking it seriously. With like this is, bro, I'm not here. I'm, just like, piss, this, I'm not just, I'm actually just yeah, trying to make sure money somewhere. from this podcast this, is, this year. This needs to be my career Literally. eventually. Do you know what bro, I mean? Like I, this I just is, thought, of, yeah, bro, you actually bring a good point. Literally I thought about it today. Like this, this morning, I normally have Mondays off work. Mm. I work Tuesday to, to, uh, to Friday. And I had five meetings today, mm. right? And I was like, bro, my life could be simple if I just don't do this yeah. stuff, right? I just work Monday to Friday. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I say. I say that to myself bro. all the time. I'm like, why am I having a big What do I put myself in? Nah, nah. Like, oh. why do I have to be ambitious? Was, yeah. Why do I have to be creative? Uh, <laughs> and then I talked to my friends and then I jumped on a call at like 1 p.m. One of my friends was just very simple. Like, oh, what are you doing today? Yeah, I just finished work and then I'm going to be doing this. Doing that. I was like, oh man, like that could be my life too. Yeah. You know? But instead, nah, I, I chose to. Right. Do you have, think you would I, be fulfilled if you had that life? Do you I, feel I think, like. No, that, that's why. Yeah. You know, I think this brings excitement. You yeah. Know, you know, being creative, enjoying uh, conversation, podcast, and AYA and school workshops mm. and all that stuff is what's really fulfilling. Mm. Right. So that's why I enjoy doing that. But at the same time, I'm like, oh man, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like that. Yeah. But, but because it question it questions a lot of the times, I question like um, whether I'm going to be successful or like you know, am I am I on the right path or am I really good at what I'm doing? Because I've committed to something that kind of requires a lot of work yeah. and. To an extent, it does like rely, like you you get that validation from other people mm-hmm. because it's like you know pe- people like your stuff. You get this. It's hundred percent based on. So perception. that obviously yeah. you're there. You're just kind of like, okay, I've committed a lot of time and energy yeah, yeah. into this, and this has become something I love doing. But you feel like, okay, am I moving? Am I successful? Yeah. If I had like maybe a nine to five where I just go, I'm able to kind of you know make my money, the then KPIs. go home, travel, and da 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 da. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Or I would just, so I don't know, I feel like sometimes I'm playing with myself, but yeah. I do feel like we're going to be successful and I feel like ah, when we 100%. come out of it, we're going to be like, yeah, this was worth it. Amen to that. And I want to touch on that a little bit because I want to talk about the new era of bittersweet. Uh, yeah. Because I know, you know, th- things happen, a lot of changes happen there. Yeah. But before you said something quite interesting, you're saying 28 today is very different to 28 before, years ago yeah. before. What? What do I mean? Yeah, what do you mean by that? So don't you feel like, I feel like, when I used to think, and this is the only time I realized like I'm 28 or wow, like I've, I'm getting older, is when I think about high school Wintana and how she would think about 28 year old. You know what I mean? Or even like early 20s. Yeah, right. Or when I was traveling, when I went abroad and studied in London, I was like, yeah, when I get back, I'm going to be 22. Like I'm 22, 20, 23. By the time I hit 28, it's like I see that 28 year old person as someone that's so grown. It's like yeah. thinking about now, when I'm 38 or like yeah. if I'm, t- you just think of Bro, th- a grown person. Is, that's up. Like you have to, have, you know, you have to know everything about the world. <laughs> yeah. you think, that's what I'm saying. You think that, but even now I feel like I've got friends yeah. that are like older. Like this year I started um, getting closer to friends that are a bit older and it's, it's everyone is just figuring it out. Yeah, everyone is actually. So now when I think about what I mean, what I meant by that was that I just felt like I would be at a different I don't know, actually. I felt like, yeah, I I thought I'd be, like, more kind of established Mm. career-wise or, like, you know, maybe I would have been on my way to getting married or engaged. Like, you know, you just kind of have plans. Or I just would have been a lot more, like, maybe internally felt, like, different. I don't feel like a big jump, if that makes sense. I I still feel like me. And me, I felt like me when I was, like, early 20s. I felt like, obviously, I've grown a lot. Yeah. And I feel like I've learned a lot about myself. And, you know, I've had a lot of changes. But it just doesn't feel like what I thought 28 like, would feel like. So interesting how you say that, because I feel what you're saying. Yeah. You know, it feels like, there's this side of me, it feels like I'm still the same since I was, like, 25. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, this side where I'm just, like, teeny, like and, yeah. And I'm, you're just like, yeah. And I'm just, just like, bro, I feel like, Maybe I haven't changed too much, but you're telling me at this age right now, I could have a whole family, a whole house. I, like, I, There's that too. My parents came. Yeah. My mom would have been, <laughs> I think my mom had my my sister when she was like 26. Yeah, right. 20, like it was like around this age anyway. Yeah. She had like my sister and then me a year later. So they would have already been, they would have left, fled Ethiopia. Yep. Refugees in Sudan. Yep. Had their whole lives, they built their lives, come to Australia. Yeah figured it out here, built a life here, had kids, 
bought their house. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. sitting here like, mm. like wow. So you know, I'm still trying to figure out. Like, I kind of want to travel to New York. Can I kind of? <laughs> Should I cook or menu log? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my I, I think God. it's because how <laughs> <laughs> should I cook a menu log? <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Yeah. Um, I think it's how we've seen what a 28 year old looks like growing up. Yeah. Right. So I think maybe like yeah, when I was young, 16, and then I would see, you know, my people that's 28 years yeah. old and someone's like ooh that's so far mm. ooh they got a whole family yeah. ooh you know cause for yeah. me growing up 28 is that's a man that's a man yeah, yeah. you it's know you you, bro what do you mean by trying to figure it out right yeah. figure it out yeah that's that's sort of growing up in terms of you know how we view anything over like 26 actually mm. you gotta figure it out you're about to get married so it's funny how you know me at the age of 16 18 thinking like that now I am in that position right I was like it does change. I see what you mean mm. by. Doesn't it feel like it, it doesn't feel? Do you, Do you guys know anyone that's twenty eight that has it all together? That has it all together. That you're seeing and you're like, okay, you. This is how we. This is how we like had the envisioned twenty eight back yeah. then. Uh, it's funny because like he's our best friend and yeah, like, I was gonna, we live life with him, <clears> but yeah. it's like genuinely, I think he's a bit younger than us, right? But it's like Daniel and like I look at him like. Based on all the milestones that I value, yeah, I know he values them as well. And it's like, he just seems to be kicking them, mm. right? And it's like, some things are like in your control, some things are out of your control. Mm. It's just like the way life has fallen for yes. him maybe, but also maybe the way he's navigated certain things. Mm. It's like, has led to a point for him and for Marwa as well, mm. obviously. Like, because it's a two-person thing, but it's like also like in her personal life, it's like the goals seem to be aligned to, in my mind, when I would have had them as well. Yeah. So it's like, it's dope to see that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's more like at the same in terms of someone like a bit older than us and whatnot. No one really comes yeah. to mind like that. Neither like I'm th- like people that I know. I, I mean, there's definitely people <laughs> that I know that, but I get their definition of having it all or whatever. Yeah. It's a slightly different, it's different to, to, yeah. to to what mine is yeah. as yeah. well. Their one could literally be getting a house and living with their partner but not getting married mm. right yeah mine so, can yeah. slightly be mine is going to be different to that mm. yeah right um or for them it could be getting married um and that's it that's that's how I mean for me could again could be slightly different yeah. to that as well yeah um maybe if i look around properly maybe i can find like one or two do you, do you, do you know anyone that um i have like one fr- i have a friend that's like really kind of tick those boxes like really really just like on on yeah. point with everything um again like situation and like i think i think a lot of factors play to that but yeah. she definitely i see that but again it's like not when i think about it i don't know if i would want to have a child right now yeah, and yeah, be married. Yeah. Like, yeah. i don't yeah. know if i want that for myself yeah. so it's like i think at that age that's what i was thinking like yeah. a 28 year old would have like the house the family the whatever the okay. the lifestyle yeah. But if you're not, if you're, not, I don't know, for me now, it's like I'm looking at career, I'm looking yeah. at like financial security, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, like, to be honest, mm. like, it's not even on a cop out or whatever, but I think we're like on your thing of 28 now, 28 before is different. It's like 28 now, or just life now, is ge- I think it's genuinely harder mm-hmm. yeah. to, I to be establishing that. yourself. Yeah. I think it's funner. To grow up in, for sure. Yeah. This, 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 this yeah, like this life time? now yeah. is more fun yeah. on yeah. every level. It's yeah. like yeah. if you take it like f- from the most basic things, from like having internet, having mm. apps, having all this kind of stuff, to even as you get older, and it's like if you're gonna go out and all this kind of stuff, there's more events catered more to you, stuff, all this yeah. kind of stuff. Traveling, yeah. traveling is like an actual option when you're young. All this kind of stuff. Yeah. But then when it comes to like the things that are like long term, settle down, invest, marriage, all that kind of stuff, I'm like. Like, you know, when you see those things where you're like, oh, in the, even in the 90s or whatever, it was like four years of your salary is roughly what your house costs. Yes. And now it's like 13 times. I saw that. I, I think I saw like yeah. a report and it was like three times that your salary is what a house would cost. Bro. And now, yeah, now it's like, I thought it was 10, but Bro, it's- this video went <laughs> yeah. like viral, I think it was last year. And it was like, they were selling plots of land in Adelaide mm. in like the 60s or something. 
And like they come out of the thing and one of the ladies, you know, I don't know why, like Australia used to sound very British. Mm. They like the white Australians and they used to talk. Or Adelaide people sound British, yeah. more British. Oh, even now. Even now? Yeah. Oh, I've never been. But yeah. <laughs> Apparently so people from Adelaide, um, like you know how Australians are like convicts back in the day they came mm. in. Apparently the people from Adelaide were, the, were British people right. that so, like, actually just wanted to come oh, and live here. Okay. So their accents are slightly different. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, basically, like, they were chopping, <laughs> sectioning off, like, this new development estate or whatever. And, like, she's like, unreal. They've auctioned for, like, $4,000 for a 600-meter plot. Like, I, like, impossible to buy. And I'm like... What? Bro, if you said $4,000 right now... Bro, give, 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 give me 30 a, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, 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 give me a couple. Give me a couple. <laughs> what I'll do you mean? I'll, yeah. I'll take all that. I'll take crazy, all that. Crazy, crazy. Wow. Even yeah. our parents, when they talk about, like, yep. the how, like how much a house costs... Yeah. Yeah. Like, like when they used to talk about areas like Footscray, Footscray now, I know it doesn't have a good name, nah, but the but it's cost still, of it's good land. Yeah, my dad'd be like, if I bought that house back in Footscray back then, it was he'll tell you the numbers, and you're like, how? How is it like two hundred thousand dollars to buy the ha- like how? What, what I like, what I like about now, like yeah. speaking of like twenty eight, twenty seven, or what, what I like about now, it feels like everyone understands each other now if yes. that makes sense mm. i don't know if i don't know what it is like for you at home or for you but i feel like there's no heavy pressure on like getting married and doing this i feel like everyone sort of understands from, from within our own age group yeah uh, yeah or do yeah. you mean I family feel, i feel like that, i think that, family family because i'm like yeah, yeah. Family still? Yeah. Uh, yeah fair enough yeah mom, like, <laughs> my mom said i understand the economy <laughs> <laughs> even if they don't say it i feel it yeah i like, feel yeah. the so how's so you, what's going on these you don't days? Talk so to what's, anyone? The, what's the plan? <laughs> yeah. um, how the my oh, friend has a son. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm person good. you have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> this person bought. Um, did you see the house? Like, wow, yeah. nice yeah. house. Every, like, everything's <laughs> jabs, yeah. jabs. The yeah. way I'm just like, I feel like I have a shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you can't say anything to yeah. me, you know. Nothing but hurts. it's yeah. I mean, I mean with nothing hurts inside, anymore. I'm like, nothing hurts. Oh. yeah. With parents, for a long time, it affected me though. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I feel like with Paris, I was always gonna be there, but for some reason, it just feels like around everyone. I don't again, I don't know about what your experience yeah. is, but it just feels around us, well, around myself at least, it feels like people just have an understanding of where mm. we are in life, right? Age so they're not really, it, yeah. they're not really pushing a, a, a certain agenda because mm. they know, like, yo, this economy is expensive. Mm. Everyone's trying to figure it out, so I'm not even gonna tell you, like. When when are you gonna yeah, get what's married? Your when next are you gonna do this? Because yeah. because I'm not even because this is the thing. I think before it would be like a certain group at this age are getting married, and a certain group are not doing that mm. at all, yeah. right? So that's when True. people can go, True. "Hey, why why aren't you like this person?" But then yeah. now it feels like, well, yeah, we're all, we're all, we're all, all the same pool. Yeah. Like you can't, you know, everyone is using. For myself, I was using Daniel as a reference, but mm. I'm like, ah, cool. Besides Daniel, who, who you well, got? Yeah, give, me, give me one name. <laughs> give, give, one name. Give, give one name. Daniel's lucky. Mom and lucky. Wonderful. Ten years together. You know that that's amazing. But yeah. put them on the side. Yeah. Who who it's else? Like you a got? unicorn these days. You know situation. that's true. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, but that's what I like about it. But my parents it. will always say, like, why are you looking to people? Why are you looking at people that yeah, are oh. not achieving what you're... Yeah. Like, if we're saying to you, the goal is here, why are you going to people that haven't done that or are lower? Like, you know, yeah. the expectation is lower. You need to look above. You yeah. need to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, oh, bro, 100%. Hey, the parents need to cut out with your age mates. Your age mates... Bro, your age mates are prime ministers. <laughs> Yeah, what are you? What are you doing? What's going on? What's going on? They're on the country. What is, what's your accomplishment? <laughs> You can't say anything to them, though. You can't say anything. You just swallow it. Uh, real quick, before we move on with this whole birthday thing, uh, I'm very curious because um, I know there's been like a like a culture shift with this. Mm. When you have your, let's say you have, you're to have a dinner, you invite ten people, mm. right? Are you the type to pay for everyone? Oh my gosh, I love this question. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carlos is a walking shader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Or, or are you expecting people to pay for themselves? For themselves. Do you know what's funny? I just had, I just like had this conversation. Right. Levels. I feel like because I was gonna have, um, like, I, I'm gonna have a dinner for right. my birthday. Yeah. And when it comes to dinner. No, I feel like everyone should pay for their own meal right. because it's a dinner. Like I've invited you out 
to eat like i'm not paying for everyone to eat food okay, here right? Okay, right but then i guess there's different expectations i'm not always being like you have to, like i don't expect a present or anything i'm just saying uh, i want to celebrate my birthday you guys want to come right. close friends like let's go eat but if it's something like a function what was that sorry there's okay so there's levels what right was there was that? <laughs> 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 I I heard water. um so basically there was this I was I was stuck between two things. I want either I wanted to either get a function right. room, right? Or go out for dinner. Mm. And then when I was looking at, you know how you look at the price of yeah, dinner, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to be considerate everything. The cost per head for the dinner was more than if we were to have the function, right? Right, okay. But it just didn't seem I feel like there's like etiquette. There's certain things that I can't just be like, hey guys, we're gonna have food all night, platters. Are you guys happy to put in yeah, fifty yeah, dollars yeah, yeah. to pay for this function See, room because now it's like this is my yeah. now I'm begging you for yeah, like yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of my friends were like you're overthinking it that's a lot but I'm like it just feels wrong but if I was to say hey guys we're gonna have a sit down dinner this is how much it's gonna cost like everyone's paying for their meal that I think is completely fine but, but yeah you, you're totally correct so now I'm trying to figure out what is the difference between you having a function. And you paying for it versus you having a dinner and you paying for it. There's no it's assuming like, it's that like, it's the same price. It's like the I don't know what it is. It's kind of like there's just ways to do certain things. It's like even now I'm thinking with Airbnb. Like if we all went somewhere and I said we're going out for my Airbnb for my birthday, mm. do you have to pay for the Airbnb yourself or if everyone is coming with you and staying? I would pay for the Airbnb myself. You pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I would feel. Too. I yeah. would. Is, yeah, that, that's what I was trying to figure out because I just realized <laughs> we're happy to pay for certain things, but then there's certain things where it's like you take care of that yourself. I think there's also levels to it as well, like with mm. your friendship circle. Okay, like yeah. with me and my friends, I my core friends, we're very, very close. Yeah. So if we were all to say, hey, girls, we're getting this place everyone put in, it wouldn't be weird. Mm. Or if I was to say, hey, guys, let's get this function room. We actually spoke about this and everyone put in, but then I'm going to invite other people. I don't feel comfortable telling them to pay. So we'll just split between us. Yeah. That's another thing as well. It's like family. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't just ask someone who is like, yeah, you, you like can't. I can't invite you guys out and be like, hey guys, put in $50 to the room or to the, it's just yeah, weird. I might just leave. You might not come. <laughs> would, you, would, would you do it? Would you do it? Would I do what? Pay the 50? Uh, yeah, I should would. I would because it's I, I would to say no. Like it's just yeah, like I'm yeah, not gonna no. say no, but I'm like, okay. But I'm just like next time. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It's weird. Definitely not doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we ain't do this again. There's levels. There's levels. Yeah. Oh man, that's. But sit down dinner. Absolutely, it's crazy to think that. I think people are a bit wild to assume Dude. that you, you have to pay for everyone's dinner. What I think, what I, actually, think? Let, let me get you because I know that uh, no, he did some I slightly did different. different with his dinners but yeah, yeah. i guess you can the tell way us. i've always done it is like honestly just like if i was at the it's not even a level thing because it's like i think we all are at the level where we could afford to pay for everyone like like literally can afford to but it's mm. like do i actually want to is the thing. you know what i mean like do you get what i mean like it's like do i want to just drop an additional 400 right now or whatever it's like when but i don't, I don't even to. think it would be do you actually think it would be that much like realistically, how many people? You go it's actually out, gonna be quite a bit. Let's say you it's actually gonna be like, like eight hundred, like, nine hundred dollars easy. Yeah, it'd be easy yeah. a thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like oh, uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying oh, an oh, extra four hundred if I cover everyone's meal. Okay, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay, because what I always have done is like, um, I do drinks and entrees. All the so. drinks, sides, entrees, whatever, mm. I'll pay for, mm -hmm. and then everyone just pay for your main. Okay. Right. Okay. And so, which like I'm literally just realizing that. If everyone gets two drinks, that's probably more expensive than Yeah, I just, don't you, I think <laughs> you got this one press at the corner. You say, hey, run it up. Like, I'm getting I'm getting played every every year. Yeah, I realize. Yeah, hey. there, there was one year I did that and I still ended up paying like eleven $1 hundred dollars. Right, that Long yeah. Island iced tea, bro. Eighteen dollars for one, bro. Yeah, because yeah. it's even with when I went out last year. I did like a, re a quick, quick dinner, and it was just like my sisters and my close, close friends. And we went to like, we went to pay. I told them how much it was. Everyone was going to pay for theirs, and they paid for me. Which in my mind actually makes sense. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do like that. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. would never request it as the birthday party and the person put it together, but it's mm. like, I do see it as quite respectful. Because it's like, we're taking, it's Let's almost like we're you. taking you yeah. out. Like, it's your birthday. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm gonna pay for the, yeah. I'm gonna, that's how I see, I, I think agree. that's normal. But I, I think agree. also there's levels to, if you're going with close friends, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Mm. 
God, I, I feel like now mm. we all have an understanding of how it works. You can't pay for your own meal, but if you don't get a gift, I'm not mad. Yeah. I'm not expecting yeah. a gift. I'm already asking yeah. you to come because out already asking. to eat, uh, yeah. to do all that. Yeah. But if it, was a <clears throat> if it was a close group of people, we would all split your amount. Yeah. yeah. If we take you out. If we take you out. Or well, like even if you invite us all out, and it's like last like, year, I think there was like yeah. like yeah, yeah. eight of us on the table. Right. So it was just like that to me makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that that. It's just funny how there's this that sort of shifted, right? Because because it went a lot from, you know, whoever's having the dinner would actually pay for for people's dinner. That that's actually yeah. I, has that happened before? I yeah, think yeah. ever experienced. I think there was a period of time. There was a period of time where that was where that, yeah. that was the case, yeah. and then it sort of uh, and then it shifted to now you pay for your own meal. But then it came down to like people saying, if I'm gonna pay for my own meal, I'm not gonna come with a gift. Yeah. Right. So then now, for me, even when I observe this, when I've gone to birthday dinners, I see a lot of people don't rock up with gifts anymore. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know. Mm. I obviously not like super, super close friends. Mm. I'm not talking about, let's say we yeah. go to Noah's, yeah. Noah's and then there's five of us now. Mm. I'm talking about like, you know, 18 people, something yeah. a bit bigger. Yeah. People don't come with gifts. People don't really come with gifts yeah. anymore. It's almost not like, yeah, I'm coming, I'm paying for myself. So I was like, well, you want me to get, get your gift as well? Yeah. Right, yeah. versus... If anyone wants to pay Especially for my dinner. Especially because nowadays dinner yeah. is not less than $70. That's the thing, out. right, yeah. If anyone's paid for my dinner, yeah, bro, I'm, there's a big gift here for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's, it's funny how we sort of have that understanding yeah. and no one really said anything about it. We just have an understanding. Yeah, yeah I feel like there's, a, there, oh, there's an understanding of the type of friend. I think for me, yeah. it's like I've been invited and I'm like, oh, okay, that was like an unexpected invitation. Okay. I don't feel like okay, I have yeah. to buy you a gift. But yeah. I feel like when I've, when, even if you're not my closest friend, but we have like a, we met each other, we built a friendship. We're not like close, close, close friends. We're yeah. not like my core, but we're actually like, we have love for each other and you know, there's a good friendship there. Yeah. I'll get you a little present. Yeah. But I feel like it's not expected. It's not necessary. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just if you feel it, you feel it. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what's one thing I can't get with it all? I don't know if you guys remember this video, but it was um <laughs> you know, like I know it's about, yeah. <laughs> it was the girl, it was her birthday and she invited her friends. And then her man And then she expected her man to pay for like yeah, all six of them or something. I'll i I'll yell. I'll start yelling. What would you say? I actually saw a video <laughs> of I don't a like girl. your friends. Yeah. Bro. I don't like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, I think that's crazy. I'll lose my mind. <laughs> but I think that's on her though. I think that's on her. Like, yeah. why would you, why yeah. are you okay with, like, why do you expect that of your man? Yeah. I think that's weird. Yeah. Bro. I'm not doing that, bro. It's bro. giving up. <laughs> <laughs> are you plotting against me? Hey, girls, don't worry. Just pull up. My man. Right in the back. He's not a man. He's not a man. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's I was crazy. like, I was <laughs> like. <laughs> but I saw a video of this girl talking about um, if a man doesn't pay if you're out with your girls mm. or you're it's like a guy a group of guys and girls that are out together right and the men don't offer to pay then that's cr that's like that's crazy okay okay uh, we need to talk about this because <laughs> yeah I, I, <laughs> my thing is the logic my, i stick with the logic because it's like i'll give you like honest honest thing is like right now if like if i'm hanging out with like <laughs> Um, a girl that I'm dating and her friends, I will pay. Mm. I, or at the very least, I will offer to pay, right? Mm. At the bare her minimum. friends or her friend? Like, is there levels to how many people you're paying for? Like, if there's two to three friends. Okay. More than that, don't piss me off. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but, That's pretty generous, But if there's two to three, I'll pay for generous. four of us, yeah. all right? Like, I'm okay with that. Even if, if they were planning to pay, I'll still... Like pay the bill and then you can pay me back. I'm not gonna be the one to be like, hey, and I'll pay you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. Right. I don't know why. But it's my problem is the expectation that, you, that that's what's gonna. Exactly. Happen. But does it have to be your girl? I think she was saying if group a group of people are together mm. for you, like we're just it, friends. Like yeah, just friends or like uh, girls like well, you were like yeah, you were just out and then I don't know yeah. Okay, so like I'm chatting to a girl on a night out. And then, well, not even on that vibe. Like, no, you just hang out. Your three out. friends are just, just girls. Out. Don't piss me off. <laughs> don't, don't friggin' piss me off. What the hell? Like, that's just strangers at this point. <laughs> what or if friends. Yeah. Even if they're friends, friends. If they're friends. Okay, if we're friends, then it's like, what the hell are we? Like, why am why, I paying why, if, if, if the idea is that guys and girls can just be friends, then we're equals in this equation. Mm. You uh, go pay. Yeah. You go pay. And then I'll pay the next one. And yeah. then you pay the one after that. 
Like, yeah. why See, is there a gender I, thing I here? actually, I, I agree. I agree. If you're yeah. just friends, you're just friends. I think there's no... And yeah. I think it creates an expectation, like, on other parts of the friendship. Yes. I think it just it makes it man. weird. And I'm yeah. not trying to do that. 100%. Because it's like, because if I'm going to act like... Because that's a behavior of a guy that is interested in a girl. Mm. Like, if I'm interested in a girl, I will then be like, oh, let me get pay mm. that. Let me get you that drink, whatever. So it's like, if I'm doing that with a girl that's my friend... Either I'm going to be like, maybe she wants me to look at it that way. Mm. Or she's going to be like, maybe I should look at him that way. Mm. Right? I don't yeah, think it can just remain think. balanced. You know what it I won't mean? be yeah. balanced. Yeah. But then do you feel like your parents' generation, do you think they were like that? I don't, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> would have done that. No? I don't think like my dad <laughs> and his friend would have been hanging out. With friends, with, with girls. Girlfriends and, they just, paid friends, and the they just paid for like four girls for no reason. Yeah. yeah. Unless they were no, trying to I stunt. Don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. No? Nah, yeah. nah, that can't really... I kind of feel like they were. I don't know why. It just makes... Maybe because I see uncles now and how they are. But okay. yeah. maybe... Hopefully. I just feel like I see like it, it very much like a man being like, oh, no, 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 we got it, we got it. We'll just pay for it. Like, regardless of the see, relationship. It's just very much like, don't worry, we'll just, it's just food. We'll just pay for it. I can't see them doing that because they're so more I like... Kind of they understand, had intentions. I understand don't the piss the me logic. off. They're older. <laughs> They're older now, but they had intentions yeah. when they were doing it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't expect it. I can see like the whole gender roles thing. I can see why people would be like, like, no, I don't, I don't agree with the expectation, but I can mm. see if people were to do it and it's not a thought. It's like, yeah, okay. I'm just going to pay for it because yeah. like, why not? Yeah. The, the relationship one is, is an interesting one though, where, uh, you know, them two dating and then her friends are around. So what I are you what's your expectation around mm, that if if you go out with I your friends your partner is there as well let's just say this another two friends nothing so two four big, of you in total four of you in total yeah and it's your birthday dinner w- or yeah. not even just yeah a nice just, just, just 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 a hangout is there is there like an expectation with f- I think four is a bit extreme especially if we just like went out I think it's like one or two. Yeah. So four in total. So just you two, like you and your mans, and let's say two other friends, like your friends. Would you mm. like deep inside go? It'd be kind of, you know, bad. It'd be kind of bad. Oh, I don't know. Look, not bad, but I do feel like you're paying for me, so it's kind of like you're paying for your friends. Like one, or, like I feel like I've had, I've been in a situation where it's been one, uh, one friend, and I was with someone, and they paid for all of us, uh, right. and that was like normal to me. I felt like, yeah, that's fair. That's interesting. Because it is, it's just kind of like, but I don't expect it, but it would be nice. Well, you do you know, that's, that's, do you know the difference, you guys? You? guys I, I, you know I, I get that. that. You, do you know yeah. what I mean? I don't I know, expect I know, it, yeah, 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 no, but I it would be agree. nice. If I you did it, it'd be like, oh, like that's really that's cool. sweet. Are you getting, you're getting points for that. You're not getting points deducted, this, but you're getting points for doing it. This is my thing. This is like how I think. Like Maybe half a point. Like it's like the whole... Like, I will never let a girl pay on a date. Yeah. But if she doesn't offer to, like, she ha- like she doesn't have to offer to, but if she offers to, it's I'll be like, getting, oh, that's very attractive. Points. Okay. I won't let you What pay. if she was just offering and she didn't have any intention of paying? Like, how would you oh, know like, the difference? She figured out the game. Cool, so. She figured the game out. <laughs> I'm going to be like, wow. Whole time she's done nothing in her car. She's she like, took notes I got it. From the podcast. <laughs> To be honest, I think a lot of guys don't mind doing any of this. I think the problem comes down to if you expect a guy if to expected, do it. Yeah. And now it's like, wait, come on. Like, you know. I don't expect me to do something yeah. you wouldn't do. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this social media, this generation, like people have just become a, like very arrogant yeah. and very like. Do you know what I mean? Talk it's me. like this, yeah. that, ex, like I said, expectation, yeah. like you need to move like this. You need, it's just unrealistic. If you took. Just take a second to really sit back and think about what you value. I feel like a lot of these things, we're just like regurgitating what we're seeing online. I think the expectations on people is just crazy. And it's like, I I don't know why they they came to split. I I feel like I remember it being around 2016. And I feel like it was, sounds off wing what I'm going to say, but it's like when the whole Trump presidency and stuff, it's like the leader of the world kind of be a free world, so to speak, air quotes. Um, became like a very polarizing figure. You're either fully this or fully that, yeah. right? Yeah. And then everyone's opinions yeah. online became fully this or fully that yeah. about every topic, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so then yeah. the yeah. expectations that women had towards men mm. were like, what the heck? And then the expectations that men had towards women were like, what the heck? Like, this is not real. Like, you think you're actually going to find 
or like grow old with a woman and she's not gonna have scars from having your children mm. or she's not gonna um be upset sometimes or you're not gonna be upset sometimes and she's gonna think you're gonna earn 500k at 21 or so, you know what i mean like what like, just what taking is going away on the here? human yeah yeah, yeah it literally. doesn't make any sense yeah. it's not making it, any sense. Expect- there's no enough conversation yeah you know like even this not healthy conversation yeah not yeah. Healthy, like even this conversation of you saying it would be nice but I don't expect that, that. That's a healthy conversation. Yeah. There's no more nuance. Yeah. It's like yes, this or this that. Or that. This or this. 100%, yeah. You know, now it's like, oh, you know, because people just say, oh, yeah. babe didn't do this. And then yeah. he's walking, is like, I can't believe you even expected me to do Bro, that. Imagine. There's no, Maybe he is trash. Maybe I should break up. He didn't pay for seven yeah. of my friends. Mm. You know? And then now the friends go, oh, can you believe he didn't offer to do that? But do you think people are actually thinking that's that in okay. real life? That's I, another thing. Do you know what it is, guys? I actually feel these are like online people. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what it is? Sometimes Go you're online plans. and you feel Go like plans. everyone is there. <laughs> there actually aren't that many people online. I actually know people that are offline. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> that live offline yeah. that don't even know about these conversations. Yeah. Uh, and it's like we think everything oh. is going on here. Okay, because this is <laughs> this is what the other part I was going to talk about the whole age thing. Yeah. This week, because I was like, oh, we're having Montana on the pod. And like, I was like, we should get content and like dilemmas and this stuff and whatnot. And I was like, maybe I should like search what's happening. I don't have a care for it. I don't have a care for it. Like I, I couldn't find any celebrity gossip. Yeah. I couldn't find. And, and I was like, I just can't be bothered searching for it. And I was like, like, I just don't care about what's happening. Yeah. Online. Like, I'm I, just bored I, of where I'm it's, just it's bored a, Yeah. Of and I'm like, is this a thing of like, Cause I'm um, as age. It's like my life is so real mm. that it's like I don't have enough time yeah, to worry about. Yeah. Alicia Keys hugging on Swiss Beats or not hugging yeah, on Swiss yeah. Beats. You know what I mean? Like Do you know that's what's so crazy is when I was like, obviously I'm preparing for the new season of Bittersweet. Yeah. And we've been so used to doing things like obviously dilemmas yeah. or like you know topics online and yeah. dating and da da da. And sometimes like those clickbaity conversations mm, yeah, can yeah. create conversation, right? Yeah. But then I'm like, I just feel like I can't be here speaking about the same <laughs> thing over and over again. Yeah, like yeah. there has to be nuance you, to the conversation. Yeah, yeah. It can still be about a relationship, yeah. but it's like, come on now, we're grown, we're dealing with real things. Like, can we go a little bit deeper? Can we yeah. actually talk about something? Yeah. And everything online just seems a little bit like just surface level and easy and just yes. you know yeah nah. yeah very very much so it's hard to yeah yeah now now that you mentioned that yeah I, I think because a lot of our lives best of what we do is is online yeah you know, i was having a podcast and so we are yeah. quite active online but also realize there's a lot of people out there that, that are not I'm on not. social media like that yeah. so all these viral clips that he didn't pay he didn't do, like a lot of people out there actually don't know yeah. about, about this yeah. You know, or a lot of people just kind of like I think relationships just work really like, differently everywhere you go. Yeah, like some people, mm. we look at it. I feel like we the conversations that we're having are always like the very start of a relationship. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? The perspective yeah. of the very back. But once you're in yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I know a couple that both put everything, and this is different. Everything right. they earn except for ten percent into one account. Oh, that that's. That's literally what I believe couples should do. Yeah, because I when I think about it, when yeah. I even think about my parents and how they yeah. like run the household, it's very much like, it's not like dad pays for this and mom pays for this. It's just like there's money in this right. here or like, you know, you've got your car. This is the household. We're this tra- house. The money's being transferred to be yeah. used, yes. but it's not like your money and my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one couple have that where they take, I think 10% of their income and that's for like gifts or yeah. surprises. I really like that. Blah, 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 blah. I love blah. that. Other people, it's like, you know, we used to split everything. And then now that I have his baby, like he covers the rent, he covers the yeah. mortgage and I'm going to cover, it's a kind of a gender role in this way. Yeah. And then, you know, there's, it's just different everywhere you go. But I yeah. feel like we're always talking about entry level relationship and then yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know? Cause I think that's the thing with social media where it sort of pushes something and then everyone sort of just jumps on it. Mm. And then now people go, is that how it's supposed yeah. to be? Yeah. Right. And then now, all of a sudden, this guy pays for everything and you make your own money, but you can do whatever it is that you want to do with your money. I'm like, hey, I don't think that's- That's fair. Realistic. Yeah. Yeah, in this economy, at least, right? It's, it's not just that. It's like, like at a what certain a, point, you go yeah. like, like, everybody what? finds out what works for them. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, this is where like the nuance really starts is you're right. Like it's the entry level is where all the conversation seems to happen about what, like about anything we hear online. But then it's like, they treat relationships that have been a while with that same level of conversation, right? Mm. So for example, it's like, 
Um, Jay-Z cheats on Beyonce. She takes him back. People are like, oh my God, you can't take back a cheater. Whatnot. It's like, nah, like you actually have to think about it. It's like people, like some guys take back girls, some girls take back guys. It's like, because there's 10 years in this. There's four kids there's in so this. Much there's so much time. Yeah. All this kind of stuff. And it's like, no, like people live real lives. And it's like, for one person, real the right lives. decision is I have to leave. Yes. And for another person, the right decision for them is like, exactly, I'm yeah. willing to work on this. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you're always going to approach with that, like 100%, if someone cheats on you within like the first three months of talking, I right, wrap you it up. Move. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, 10 years in is a different conversation. Mm. You know, 20 yeah. years in is a different conversation. That kind of thing. And it's like, mm. And then same thing, it's like finances, it's like, oh, we don't do gender roles because what it's like, yeah, but like I guarantee as soon as all of you get past this start of the relationship and enter whatever, he's gonna pick up a male gender role because he has to. Yeah. Right. And yeah. you're gonna wanna pick up a a role and it's like for even forget gender tradition, it's like in your relationship, this she does this yeah. and he does that. Mm. Yeah. And it's like that is you've technically created a gender role now. Yeah. Right? Based on or it's not it's a you Ooh, role. She, yeah. You know? It's all different. It's always, it's all different. always different. You do what makes sense to you. People, yeah. I don't know, sometimes I'm like, are you drag dating your up? Like the way people are like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. he has to, he has to do it. He has to pay for this. But it's like, no, you're going to want to make it work in the relationship. Yeah. You're not going to watch your partner struggle. Yeah, exactly. And like, thing, he yeah. has to pay for this meal that we're about to eat because that's what, you know, that's what it is. It's like, no one is even thinking about that date nights and this yeah, and that. Like, exactly. you know I don't know. I just think, I think we're just, we're too focused on these like entry level relationship situations yeah. because they make for conversation. They but do, I also understand that. They make good conversation. They do. Can you imagine though? Like <laughs> actually like, let's say like you're two years into a relationship and you're at dinner and you ask like, like your partner asks you like, babe, can you go pay? And you just go, like in your head, like you wouldn't think, you. oh my God, I can't believe he's asked me to pay. He's the man. It's like, bro, like you're two years in. You're two years in, you're two years in. Yeah. It's like, you pay for it. You joke about it. I don't know you got this one, yeah? Yeah. Like, but seriously, you got this one. I think I really like that that idea of, you know, you finding what works for, 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 for both you. of y'all. Yeah. Um, I've seen that happen. I think that, not the danger, but what I've seen happen is other people sort of saying, sis or bro, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right? And then now what it does is it sort of adds this, Thoughts, it's like, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, maybe, maybe he was supposed to do that, not me, mm. or maybe she was supposed to do that, mm. not me, right? Because of course, like, you know, both sides. Yeah, mm. yeah, because I'm, you know, everyone, you know, probably, you know, talking to their friends, and you know, your friends will also observe mm. your relationship when you guys go out, yeah. sort of, sort of see what you do, what he does, those sort of things, and and if they see things that sort of abnormal, they go, hey. Maybe yeah, yeah. That's like that's. I think it's really important to establish what is important to you in a relationship yeah. from day one. Yeah, like to yourself. I think a lot of us rely too much on, you know, what the dialogue is online or friends or yeah. you know, like you go to your friends for advice for this and that. But it's. I think it's really important to figure out what your is important boundaries. to you. Yeah, yeah, what your values are. Because for some people, maybe two years in, and he's saying pay for it. It might be a little bit like, oh, actually no. Why did you ask me to do that? You know, like I want, I like, I like being, I like being, I like, cause it's even like you like the idea of going out on dates and being treated and doing this. So it's like, if he's asking you to do that, maybe that just doesn't sit right with you. But it's like, I understand what you're saying. But I'm just saying there's everyone has their yeah. thing. You know what I mean? It's important to figure out what yeah. yours is. What's the um, <laughs> male equivalent of that? Of what? I, 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 genuinely, I don't care about the the paying male, female yeah. discussions or yeah, or the paying or whatever. But it's like, um, like, because you're saying like two years in, she might still want to be like, I like to be treated, on, which is hundred percent fair. I, yeah. I fully agree with it. Like, yeah, I'm, I love I'm being treated. Yeah, I it's love nice. it. Yeah, but like, what's a male equivalent where a guy can be like, I still want to be able to ask for this mm. two years in or something like that? What's something before? It's like, like, it's the like same at the start as, like, as well, though. Like before? Yeah. It, well, well, I don't know. Because the same question is like, you know how girls go like, um. Like what's what's flowers for men? Mm. Like what is what, what is, is flowers? For? I don't know. I don't know what flowers is for men. We just like what would you like to be gifted? You don't know, or you don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? No, I'm like asking. Is there like something that we don't know? Because <laughs> maybe <laughs> we might be on the same page here. <laughs> and I don't think anything. I'm just saying. Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> I actually don't know what's equivalent to that. I don't know if we do have something across the board. 
I'm trying yeah. to think about what guys like. You know, I, I feel like with every guy, this is the funniest thing. I think when it comes to this sort of conversation, every guy's just completely different. Not saying that every girl's the same, but I'm pretty sure if you get, if your man gets you a flower, you give your girl a flower, give my girl a flower, all them three are going to be like, I love this. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. But for the guy, it's going to be slightly different. You know, I want to know what I would like versus what I would like. Is I don't think there's like a universal thing that can be done to us. Yeah. Or given to us that were like. Yeah. What about like a like a oh I can something give you else example like actions or not oh, actions like, not, like action. I'm not thinking like mm. that but I'm thinking you know what's uh, something like words of affirmation other love languages that are not gifts yeah you know that's supposed to be done every day I don't know, <laughs> you know? tell me you love me every every tell night. me you love me or like <laughs> even like I don't know a nice home cooked meal God. and like a okay something, you know okay yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, highly yeah. rate that guys like, love a home cooked yeah, meal yeah there is something re- like it just. Bro, because it says wife, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> if she cooks for you, <laughs> yeah, f- it just feels so, yeah. so, so warm, yeah. you know. Which then makes you go like, this is where I don't get it. Like the guys <laughs> that don't do the like flowers regularly or that yeah. kind of stuff. Mm. Like, because I'm like, especially like let's say like in a marriage context, like you're living together, which means. Most likely, she's, she's cooking, cooking four mm. nights a week at least, mm. right? It's like, if she's doing cooking four times, like, surely you can do flowers every Once two week. weeks. Yeah. Fla- flowers, <laughs> actually, you can't compare effort. flowers and cooking a meal. Flowers is like, I'm just going to go by and, yeah. like, you know, pick up flowers. No, nah, but, like, you can put a little extra effort. Like, you can, like, pick Pick a really nice yourself. ones, yes, like, yeah, things like that. I, and then, like, tell them the reason why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, that, this color, this color. Yeah. This. Remember you watched this movie? Wait, <laughs> Remember you watched this movie wait, and you like this character? Is this character? a thing that guys do? Like, is oh, this like a yeah, yeah? But is yeah. this like other guys do that too? Nah, the guy I realize. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna that. talk to you guys like off camera. Oh, oh. <laughs> <This is> interesting. <laughs> no, bro, girls, just, tap in, tap in nah, because I think oh, there's like a forum or something that guys are getting I'm, ideas. I'm like, telling you, guys, myself, Nor uh, and Daniel, yeah, d- d- different. And yeah. honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I actually thought that every guy actually, you know. Do this stuff, it's, yeah. You it's, know, but I, I realize they don't. It's normal to the TDE it, crew. Is do it, you do this to girls that like even go like? Do, does she have to be someone you really like? We have to be dating properly yeah. for you to be like doing this. Yeah. Like it can't just be like because I I don't love the idea of gifts and stuff early on. I think the older you get, it makes a little bit more sense to like mm. take the first date a lot more serious. Mm. So it's like. Maybe rock up with flowers, mm. or maybe you know what I mean. Go out your way with effort in somehow, but I think it in general, like like I'm not gonna do a sentimental gift until it's yes. until there's it's actual sentiment here. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, once it is, it's like you'll get purple flowers because mm. you like because you re- remember remember when you had this and this. Yeah, <laughs> this is why I got that. Yeah, because yeah. one, one thing I realized as guys. Maybe not so much TDE boys, man. Yeah, you know? but, Bro, but we hype ourselves so much as disgusting. So good, <laughs> but I said I love it. The self validation in this room is crazy. I, I, I realize things, some that you know the girls really love that us guys are not doing enough is just mm. is being thoughtful, but also noticing the little things mm. as well. I will give you guys an example. This is years ago, this all stuck with me, right? Probably like going back like five years ago, just hanging out with a friend. It's been a minute since since we've hung out. You know, life changing experience for her. Everything we just caught up. It's like yeah, it's been a while. This is that, and then I realized she had like a matching set, right? She had like a long hair, but she had like a earrings that match her bracelet and ring, mm. or something like that. I was just eating. I was just like, hey, yo, I like your matching set. She's like, what are you talking about? I said the earring with the bracelet, and then she did this. I'll never forget this. She's like, I got this like two weeks, and my boyfriend never noticed that. Oh uh, yeah. Right? And then in my head, I was Bro, like, that's oh. a bad feeling when they go, oh, like, so-and-so so, doesn't notice. Because yeah. it's like, oh. okay, like, yeah, we, don't, don't pit us now yeah. because this is weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah like, that is, that's not yeah. good. That's not yeah, good. in yeah. my head, I was like, oh, man. I feel for you. Yeah, like, I, I was quite hurt. I was mm. like, and then I realized how these little things actually matter. Up, yeah. You know, because mm. to be honest, any little change that we do, if the person that you love the most actually notices that change, mm. that's like the best feeling in the world. Yeah. Because you know what it is? I think it also like you're like guy or girl when you're doing this, it's like you're sowing you're so, security. Yeah. Like it's like, whoa, like they really only pay attention. To, they you know, pay, I pay attention they, they in general attention, to, but they really yes. do pay attention Bro. to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that makes people feel so secure yeah. in their yeah. relationship. It's yeah. like you're so 
<laughs> like you it, know me. You yeah, know so me. it's so yeah, weird. Yeah. It's like you're so tapped in my life. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like you've noticed that uh, I got not that it matters or anything. But it's like yo, you got new glasses. I love it. Yeah. It's like oh snap. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. very similar to the, my old one, but. Is it's a fact you notice that, that there's a change. Yeah. There's a change, yeah. And you it's, notice that change. It's not even things like it's like things like I think where it can be kind of hurtful is like let's say, let's say like she's told you she loves silver jewelry, yeah, and then he like gets her a present and it's like a gold ring. Yeah, that would like, be like you actually on. don't listen. You like, don't listen. Yeah. You know, you actually don't listen. Yeah. On top of that, you're wasting your time. Yeah, and now I have something that I don't really I don't like. Want, I don't yeah. want. That's annoying. But I feel like I like I like a man that does like acts of services. I yeah, like acts, acts of, of service. Good, like yeah. you will do things to make my life easier intentionally. Uh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the flowers is cute. It's nice, but I think I wouldn't trade that for that. Yeah, like yeah, if yeah, you yeah. were, if you saw certain things around that needed fixing or you yeah. know, I don't know how to do something. So you went and you went out of your way to do it for me. Yeah. You Anything that kind of makes my life easier and you're doing it intentionally. Yeah. I think that is a, such an attractive quality. Uh, yeah. I think the like flowers, things like it's, it's, it's really cherry on top. It's yeah, a cherry on top. Right, yeah. It is a cherry on top. Because it's like, if you just give me flowers, but you are trash and everything else, it's like, what do I do with this cherry? What do I do yeah. with this? You know, but it's like if you. I saw my talking about now. I need to find a vase, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> now I need to, for the vase for the flowers you bought me last week. I have to go buy a vase, and my car is still like something's going on. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> Before we jump into the um, you know the 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 bittersweet era, because uh, we've got the relationship expert. You know you. Oh, wow, you know okay. the dilemma is always putting people <laughs> on game, um, but. You know, I'm also trying to put our people on game as well. Yeah. Mm. So what is one thing that us guys can do, mm. you know, that can sort of, that we're not doing that we can do, you know, if it's, you know, for our partners or someone's trying to get to know someone. Oh, that's like a very deep, I don't know. I think, I think more like be intentional, okay, I would say yeah. be intentional about like, and I think, I don't know, I think it works both ways. I think the dating culture now, like if we're trying to get somewhere, people just need to be more intentional. Yeah. About Do you think guys are like assertive enough when it comes to dating initially? Mm. I don't think they're assertive. And I also don't think they have like, what's the word? There's no like, they're not courting women. I feel mm. like there's no... Um, Especially when I compare it to somewhere like the States or something. Was I talking to you, Nora, about I it? I think so. Where it's like they're just a lot more like a 24-year-old is just a lot more like they just seem older because they there's certain things they'll do for a woman. Okay, but that's something about America because no joke, like uh, <laughs> this is going to sound so weird. A six-year-old American is so much older than a six-year-old Australian. Oh, yeah, bad. Like, the words they use, the, the way Maybe, they can. Maybe, yeah, I don't like, know. Like, even, like, growing up there, right? It's yeah. like, like kids are ready at that age. Like I'm going to go to Subway and order my sub. You we're just, I mean? we're just behind here, but it's also like, we're connected by the internet. So catch up. Yeah. We're seeing the, cause the girls here are seeing what they're doing over there. And yeah. then I'm, t I had a conversation with someone and we we're talking about something just so dumb, like about buying drinks. And then he was like, nah, I never buy a girl a drink. And it was like a joke. It was like, nah, never, I would never do that. Unless like, unless the conversation was good or I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> wait, wait, like, wait, why wait, is wait. It <laughs> like, why would you, if the conversation isn't good? No, no, no. But I, for example, like it's not a crazy thing to think like, Oh, I'm going to the club. I'm going to now talk to someone. Let me offer to get them a drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we, because now if you're just talking to me, you've come to me, you're talking to me a lot of the times, I don't even like nine times out of 10, a lot of other men have come to that girl to talk yeah. to her. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you want to talk to her, you want to stand out. The simple, the easy thing to do would to, would be to buy a drink. Like, why are you making it like they make it out like it's hurting their pockets or like Wait, so they if, can't be. So if, <laughs> if he gets you a drink, you owe him a conversation. I don't owe him a conversation, no. But I'm saying it's not wild to expect that. It's not wild Start for a girl it. to be okay. there and for a guy. It's like when you just butter up any conversation, okay. you want to step forward and be a gentleman you want to be someone that you know a girl's like oh even that we shouldn't be like wow like he bought me a drink but it's just a polite thing to do it is it's like when it you is, when is, you just yeah. act you know when there's just etiquette like I okay so you, like yeah so you just believe like that's part of what being a man is i just feel like there's certain things you can do mm. and buying a drink at a club is so basic yeah. but it just to me i'm just saying that I think that the culture here, like men tend to feel like they don't need to do certain things and it's almost like they have to prove a point by not doing it be, and I don't know, it just feels like the courting process is a lot more like, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Premature. Mm. It is definitely. Do you know different. what I mean? Like, it there's is, just yeah. things that they won't do for no mm. reason until she's their girl. It's like, well, I, I can definitely see that, but I think also it's like, <laughs> do do you feel like the girls also don't? They, they take advantage of that as well? No, I don't. I think the girls in Australia, guys, like I'm going to tell you right now, they're top tier. Even girls compared to... <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> they are. Girls uh, compared... Uh, Melbourne girls are phenomenal. I love them. No, and, uh, and are you joking? Or are you no, being serious? I really do. No, I guys, really if do. you look no, at the girls no, in good. the state, like yeah. girl, and I'm not trying to compare us, <laughs> but I just feel like there's a there's an expectation overseas because they've been doing it for a long time yeah. to pay for this, yeah. pay for Ubers, pay for your this, like expectation. Yeah, Here, right. I almost feel like we're a lot more like, we're just, we don't have that. The expectation isn't crazy. But you also want to be treated as a lady. Like, take me out, woo me, do something nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely agree. Uh, I think, again, the other side of it is, is like, guys say, when I buy her drink, she just takes a drink and then just walks off, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, because, like, like, I'm not going to lie, there is an element of, like, it's silly. <laughs> What's silly? Like, as in, like, why did I just buy a stranger a drink? Like, and, and this went nowhere. Like it's almost, it's almost the level of silliness of like <laughs> tats lotto, yeah. Yeah, like it's like, a gamble. You know you, yeah, like, you like never sometimes know. Sometimes I buy tats lotto, <laughs> and it's like I've spent twenty four dollars thirty or whatever it is, yeah. And then you check at nine p.m. It's like you, there's no win here, right? Yeah. And you're just like. Why did I just spend that money? Like there was actually no point. I'm not mad that I spent the money. But there was no point. But okay, like, there then, was this no is, point. This comes back to being intentional. Like don't just go to anyone and oh, let me yeah. just lucky dip and just see who yeah. I can get. But if you want to yeah. talk to that girl and you find her attractive, the vibe just based off your quick conversation was good. Go do something nice. Mm. Like I think there's, I think there's just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm hearing stories of like. There's just no one out here, or like it's a bit dry, yeah, or you know yeah. this and this and that. So, how are we gonna change that, guys? Yeah, because hey, man, it's not up to us anymore. Yeah. We're out the game. Yeah, yeah, you know, we we tried a long time ago, but yeah, figure it out. <laughs> we're we're down, the carries. Down. Figure it out. But yeah, I think real quick on, on that, I think because mm. there was a lot of expectation. If if a guy buys you drink, that means that you not that you owe him anything. But I think the way that some guys view it is like, so are you going to dance with me now? Mm. Are you going to talk to me now? Yeah. Right? But I think where there's also a different group of guys where they'll buy a drink. If you don't talk to them, they and say, they say have a lovely night. That's what I'm saying. And that's yeah. what we need to be. We yeah. need to just have that. There's like, you know, there's just a way to be. There's yeah, like yeah, um, yeah. a standard. And I feel yeah. like having, that is like baseline. But what I'm saying is just bring back like courting that, women. Yeah. Bring back chivalry. Bring back doing something nice to, yeah. you know, it's like she's not the enemy. Do something nice. I guess that could be the, like the wake up call. Like just do something nice, guys. Do something Don't nice. leave the ego at the you door. Guys got, you guys, you've got competition, yeah? Your peers in different countries, they're leveling up. Yeah. Uh, can I say something about this? Because I hear this from everybody. Like I even hear it from interstate things. Guys and girls are able to sniff out when somebody is not from that place. Yeah, okay. guys are. And so I think when, because I know like a lot of Melbourne girls will go even interstate and they'll be like, the guys like, treat us nice there, whatever. They treat right? us nice. Yeah. Or they go to the UK and they see that and whatnot. Yeah. When interstate that. girls come here, the guys, we treat them nice. Because we can just tell they're not from Why? here. Because it's like- People love that new. That's what I mean. Like that new, that the, new. The fear of rejection is, is gone because it's like, mm. she's not from here anymore. She's going back. Mm. Right? Whereas like from here, it's like Melbourne's only so big, right? I mean, it's a big city, but it's like- mm. The scene is only so big. So it's mm -hmm. like, ah, uh, they're going to hear whatever, blah, blah. blah. It's like, ah, uh, can I be bothered, right? Mm -hmm. I think what we always like forget to realize in a sense is like the UK, America, the pool in general is huge, mm -hmm. right? And so it's yeah, like, even yeah. within the same city, I don't know anyone, mm -hmm. right? But it's like, I can tell it, they're even more based on accents. Like I can tell, oh, you're not yeah, from here. Yeah, yeah. Treat you nice. Yeah. You know, I mean, so I think that's why when you guys go, you guys are the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're like the main, you're yeah. literally yeah. the main attraction. Exactly, because like people instantly, like, oh, I like the accent, I like the whatever, yeah. all the stuff, and it's like, there it goes. 
we do the exact like. If, but girl, the standard is a bit different though as well. Yeah, like the I'm way sure, they, I'm sure. Yeah. But do you feel like it's also you know when you're new, right? When you're when you come to this, like uh, someone comes from interstate, their vibe is also different because it's oh, like yeah, they're 100%. thinking, I'm on holiday, yes. I'm having a good time, yes. so everyone's oh, yeah. just True. having it's a good time. Very easy to approach. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So that's probably because yeah, it's very rare that someone comes into a new city and sort of like to themselves. They're quite open, quite bubbly, and yeah. everyone's like, yeah. "This is a fresh air." Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not. Of course, as yeah. a good, you're, especially like you're just like, oh, you know, like I'm just here for yeah, the weekend. Where are you from? I'm from. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. everyone's yeah. happy. Where are you from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I came for you. <laughs> let, me, let me show you around. Oh my God. <laughs> and you're just excited by anyone, if, unless they're weird. It's like you're yeah. gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Normally just bubbly. It's funny, but let's talk about bittersweet now. I wanna. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah let's talk yeah, about yeah. it. There's a lot of Cup, changes. Huh? A couple yeah, of are. months ago, you guys dropped a bombshell. Yes. We we're just like, you know, everyone's shocked. What's happening? What were the reactions behind the scenes? What were you guys thinking? Uh, I think. Yeah, what's your reaction then? Initially, like, because you go like, uh, maybe it's just human nature. Like, you go like, oh, is there like some sort of issue? Yeah, I As think a few why, people thought yeah. that like we were we beefing were beefing or, or yeah, something. Like, nah, Rahal's been behind the scenes in some of the videos. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on recording. Like we just we we parted like ways on bittersweet, but on camera. We're on on camera, camera, but we're still so close. Like, yeah, we see each other all the time. Or like she's helping me, she's giving me advice with certain things that are going on. Yeah, because she understands it obviously more of than course. anyone that has yeah. been. Um, like around me yeah. so I think it's a lifestyle difference like yep. we or just not even lifestyle difference I think what we want for ourselves yeah and yeah, sort of. like kind of the path we're going down yeah. mm. like we sat down and we talked about because we were talking about it for a while yeah. behind the scenes and Rahel does like um, a lot of stuff outside of Bittersweet that she's really passionate about mm. and that she's growing in a lot so yeah. for her, it was kind of like... Consumption. Yeah. There's a lot of demand. Bittersweet. Like you guys would know as the podcast yeah, grows, lot, yeah. the things that we're doing outside, we've got the studio. Especially you two only yeah. as well. And it's like we're, we're running the studio where people are hiring. We're, we're, we're trying to grow it in different ways. And the direction the brand is going in, it's just going to get... The demand is just going to get more intense. 100%. Yeah. So it was like... She's kind of seeing that, we're seeing that, and she was like, you know, I can't commit to both things at the same time. Literally what she said. Yeah, it's just going to be too much. So we made the call. What and, was and your- to be fair, there yeah. is nothing more annoying than like a lack of commitment in a podcast type thing uh, yeah. from somebody on the crew because it's yeah. like, then it's like, all right, this needs to go ahead. No one realizes that X person is doing all the work. And this person is not holding up their way because mm-hmm. all they see is the finished product the, on camera. And that's what I'm saying. And the thing is, people don't know. Like, don't when you're on the camera, it just seems like, yeah, we've got a couple lights and a mic. And da, 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 yeah. But it's like, outside of even the recording, so even just lot. thinking about it and like being yeah. strategic, where do you want to go? Your week revolves around the, sh- the shoot day. Yeah. yeah. What are you trying uh, to yeah. do? And this little clip, this one hour you see is just what you see. Yeah. But there's so much behind the scenes. 100%. And if someone is not. Um, like you want committed. the person you're doing yeah. it with to be committed and excited. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so for me, for us, we were just thinking like, yeah. it's just going to get more intense. And yeah. she was like, yeah, I don't think, yeah. um, I think get this is the time. To, yeah, when, when she first brought up that conversation, what was your initial thought? Was it like, ah, is this the end of bittersweet? Yeah. Or, or it's like, okay, cool, I have to solo it. Like, what was your initial thought? Yeah, like that, I was so... St- not stress, but I feel like I just didn't know. I was like, how are people going to react with just me as the host? Right. What would that look like? Yeah. And then it was a lot of thinking about like, can I manage a podcast that is a guest every single week? Do we have enough people in the city to do that? Like, can That's I- That's a topic we're going to get into. But yeah. yeah There's just know. all those things. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't want to- um, yeah, like I want it to be good content. I want it to be something that's going to be good, you know, all that stuff. But then also I was like, we've built a really intentional brand. We've got something great here. Like I always look at Bittersweet and I'm like, there's a lot to let it go Definitely. would not make sense. Yeah, Definitely. Because yeah, there's yeah. just so many things that just need to be like nurtured, like mm. grow to grow. Yeah. But I feel like it wouldn't make sense to let it go, especially because I'm still very passionate about it yeah, and I love it. But there was a lot of fear of like, what was that going to well, look well, like yeah. on my own? And, and um, I think we just we just spoke about it for like for so long, and Rahel again like really supportive. We're like sisters, so she's telling me 
you know, encouraging me. And then I was kind of started to do, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'll start to do little things on my own. Like it's yeah, hosting yeah, or yeah. this or that, getting more comfortable with yeah. that. And so, yeah, I was like, yeah, Bittersweet can be a solo podcast, solo show. Like I'm looking at other podcasters that do it. Yeah. Why can't I do it? They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're actually doing a good. good yeah, but well, like, it's like just, it's just might look a bit different. Like we're not going to have every single, it'll be every week, but it'll be like a season. And then I might take a little break yeah, yeah. and then come back and then plan what in yeah, that break, plan, plan the next season. That way I can manage the kind of way of doing it on my own. Have you thought of having like a, <laughs> another co-host? I have. I thought about it at the start, but then I was like, I don't want to have another co-host. No? Because. It doesn't have to be like a permanent co-host, but also like a. Rotating co-hosts. Yeah. Like rotating. Do you know what I would have? Yeah. I would have like a friend that comes on frequently like that, yeah. every now yeah, and then. That, so it's like someone thinking. you're used to seeing, but she's not the host of the show. Yeah. And someone that, but she's a voice. She's in a the voice. Show. Yeah. Like, you know, is there a common like person that comes around? Yeah. Like, for example, Milena, you guys That's see her pop say. up she, around. Uh, Milena's honestly great for this. this yeah. Kind of she's so you great. Guys she's even good did at some content. before as well. Yeah. 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 Right. So, so I would. connection there. Yeah, so Milena was definitely, she'd come on, like we do maybe like segments together, things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. having a consistent host, I think, do you know what it is? It comes back down to the conversation of you want someone to be serious yeah, yeah. and you want someone to be like committed the same way you're committed. Exactly. And I feel like that only happens when one, they're either being paid for it yeah. or they, they start it with you. Exactly. So they really yeah. understand and yeah. care for the brand the same way you care for they it. They planted it. They planted it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of like, this, is your this whole brand. thing of like this is like, like my thing that I started, yeah, and then yeah. now you're coming on like how are we gonna make this work? Yeah. That's that's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, man! Because so, I, I was looking at that, I was like, man, that, that's 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 a huge, huge. It was change. so guys, it was I, so hard to like even drop the news when we when we <laughs> when bro, I was I think, aging, bro. I was like, <laughs> I think I woke up like, bro, what's hey? Cause I, everyone was going wild. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know? I, I was like, man, what, what's happening? You know, what's what's next? Mm. as well i think that was the big thing like what's what next, next for bittersweet yeah, yeah. Right? um were you in terms of how people would would you know react to the news were you concerned about number one how people react number two are they ready to just have you as a solo as a host, yeah you know was, did that cross your mind yeah 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 i feel like i had because i had so many mixed um like i guess uh like advice or reactions from family right. and close friends right, some yeah. people one of, my, one of my like close family was like um no don't do it <laughs> don't do it don't do what? Like, what do you mean don't do it it's not a choice it's yeah. like don't do it people don't like change and i'm like oh my god yeah. people that i'm going through it for a whole week i'm like people don't like change, <laughs> don't like change. <laughs> how am i gonna make it happen yeah, you know? yeah so there's right. obviously like you get that and then there was um yeah like i think some people thought we were beefing which was kind of funny some people had said like um you know, reached out and been like, oh, is is so and so like, what's the tea? Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's the other? There's no tea, guys. There's like, no literally, tea, yeah. this is what it is. Um, well, where does that even come from? Or is it just the idea? Because I think think about it. Like, whenever there's a group, it's group split. It's like yeah. something happened. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah. happened. Like, yeah. why would they split? Why would they split? And Rahal said a lot of people were saying to her, like, why are you leaving bittersweet? Like, why would you? Like, that doesn't make any sense. But really, she's just like, it's. Cause that's also coming off the back. You guys had like that big announcement True. that that well that, that shoot that you guys had. We did a shoot with Puma, like Fenty. The yeah, Fenty, yeah. Literally that came off of that as well. Yeah. Um, from from my memory, that's, <laughs> that's true. That dropped and then and I was like, man, you guys just dropped like the craziest thing. And yeah, then now, a campaign, yeah. And, and then now this as well. It's like, oh wow. I, I think that's probably where people can yeah. sort of say, is there is there like beef? Cause. You guys are we just amazing. Did. No way, Wintana didn't want to split the check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, wow, yeah, Wintana, you guys, yeah. You guys, you guys are killing the game. You know, you know what I mean? Nah, do you know what it was? We actually had planned to like announce the end of the episode a few times before that. Ah, okay, we had yeah, yeah, we yeah, thought yeah, about yeah. it and then we were like okay we're getting this campaign then the campaign was like what a beautiful for us it was like what a beautiful way to end this chapter yeah yeah like this yeah. is so nice we get yeah, to tell our story right. we get to do this and we get to do a campaign with Fenty and people like that's pretty cool and yeah, then yeah. it was like yeah obviously the week I think we did a, one more week and then the following week that? and oh, it was yeah. just like we're gonna keep pushing it if we keep having this conversation yeah. like let's just yeah. either do it or not and um, we did it yeah so right now, where is bittersweet? What was what's next? I was gonna say, did you before that? Like, did you have that thought of like, you know, before you started the podcast in general? Oh, that the you had be. that thought of like, oh, like what am I doing? Like, is anyone gonna listen? Is anyone? Mm. Gonna, like, do you have that feeling again right now? Yeah, I still have. That. I I'm, I message. Do you remember? I think you messaged me and you were like, oh, you know, um, 
like yeah like sorry to hear that oh no i don't even know you were no. saying basically like you know congrats on the new yeah, chapter yeah. type of thing like this is exciting and then i was like that yeah, guys, time for me i messaged yeah two, two up we're friends two up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. hey, hey i just hey no said that on behalf of yeah, 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 okay yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah true. it came through noise account they're not yeah. disruption oh so that's you see that's what you messed up you yeah. meant to send it through disruption yeah. yeah. no, i did the right thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're no but you were like because you, you I, was, I was talking to you i'm like i'm just trying to figure out the rebrand <laughs> and that was like almost me being like okay how do i I don't want to put out that I'm nervous, but I'm also just like, you know, and then that simple, like, I think you told me like, you know, people do it like this. And it's like, you, sh you there was like, we we're talking about segments and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like, there was a initial panic of like, you know, how am I going to run this for it to be like really good for people to come in, to listen and to love the content, you know? So yeah, there were, I feel like almost when I first started Bittersweet, there was less thinking about it because I didn't really understand now what it was like. Now there's something to lose. Now, sense, yeah, yeah. And now it's almost like you, you've done it before. People, yeah, you know people yeah. listen, you know this. So how do you do it where it's people are going to keep listening? Mm. So, yeah, but I just feel like I have to come on. I have to like just be myself, bring on good guests, have good conversation, which I feel like I do anyway. Yeah. And it's just about like... I think maybe some people will fall off, but we'll get a new audience. Yeah, we'll get a new audience as well. Do you reckon... Doing it just you now and with guests. Because, like, bittersweet be has always felt like it's. Wintana and Rahel, the, yeah. No, it's for the girls. Mm. Because it's two girls and mm. all this kind of stuff and, like, the topics and relationships and dilemmas and all. Like, do you feel like this is an opportunity to capitalize on more male audience? Or do you not really care for No, that? no, no. I get. I feel like I'm stepping in a little bit more open-minded about mm. the guests that I bring on yeah. and things like that. I feel like the fact that it's for the girls is almost a good thing. Oh, it's, a, yeah. it's almost like it's something that- yeah, yeah, and it's also like, you know, something that I can really speak on yeah. and feel yeah. connected mm. to and my audience will feel most connected to when yeah. I have those conversations. But I would love to bring in more male perspectives, like, you know- have a guy come on and talk about whatever it is. But actually I'm struggling to think of um, like m content creators or guys to jump on the podcast. Not you guys. Cause I know you guys no, are no, no, no. <laughs> no. the way you looked at Carlos was like, Oh, we have, <laughs> no, it's I was trying to think of. I feel like my, so my I'm... circle is so like, or like the, maybe my content and yeah. what I consume is okay. so like, then this is where it comes into this conversation. Will we ever stop hitting this ceiling in terms of content in Australia? Cause there's just no guests in general. Like yeah, there's no, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll explain. Yeah. So recently yeah, yeah. we had um, a pastor come all the way from Nigeria. Yeah? yeah, I saw that. When I tell you- Did he come from Nigeria? Or does <laughs> yeah. he live in this-, this He came from Nigeria. First time in Australia. Really? Yeah. Not just for the podcast. No, just for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came yeah, to yeah. preach and stuff. <laughs> and then someone was like, um, do you want him on your pod mm. when, when he's here? And we're like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, to be honest, at first we were like, mm, I don't know, whatever, sure, maybe. And then he came, and then the, like it was. That was a we had so much fun in the yeah. conversation, but it was also like the clips, the numbers, everything. Like no joke, I think it did uh, like two and a half on YouTube, which is really good for mm. us to be honest. Um, yeah, TikTok clips, did like, uh, combined, let's call it one point five, and Instagram did like two million mm, on the clips. Right, it's amazing, yeah. But then it's also the following: like you get ten k more on TikTok, you get. I think our Instagram doubled. Mm. Yeah, right? sorry, I was like, and yeah. What I the was heck? like, I was like, this is dope. It's exciting. It's mm. cool. It's whatever. But I'm like, if you're in America, if you're in the UK, this guy wasn't hard to reach, mm. right? You get ten of these people for your first ten episodes, and your podcast literally within three months is Just sitting at ten thousand followers yeah. on Instagram. This much mm. or whatever, or like people commit, yeah. right? It can't happen here. There is not that many people, especially like the audiences that we are listening to and that we're into. It's like, like we're not gonna get any of these Bondi guys and girls and you know what I but mean? But do you like, feel like you could tap into an audience that's still like in Australia, they've got their own following. They've got their own audience that you have like, I feel like we can think outside of the box a little bit. There's almost like a bubble yeah. that we haven't live in escaped, yeah. that we haven't escaped. I and agree. also like, even just from, I've been going to more like events for like, like brands, things like that, you yeah. know, and I've met yeah. some people and I'm like, 
there's a different there's a different market okay, there. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why TD we never get the invite to that stuff. <laughs> but that's not even bittersweet. Is. It's like they'll come and they'll I don't know what it is, but they'll just hey, hit me up like, and I'm I, like, I love hey, it for I'm you. Through, yeah. like, keep going. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like for like, And I'm, also a lot of them are like women, like they're beauty. I don't brands care, Mal Rock this, up too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Mecca. We got Mal too, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mecca guys. Mecca hasn't hit me up yet, but guys, um Call me, yeah. Mecca. <laughs> yeah, call us too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> While you're at it, yeah? Yeah, no, I feel like I'm seeing a different, okay. and, they're, and they're like, I think for me, I've always been like, okay, we have a lot of like white, content here yeah i'm being selective in in terms of just like the the guests i want to have like not only black but like predominantly because yeah, i feel like we need that we don't relate, have that and that's that. yeah and also our audience relates like mm-hmm. a, a lot of young black girls have have been like i, I literally so we got a message recently yeah. and someone was like i was struggling to find content creation mm-hmm. content creators um in the u.s i mean in australia and new zealand yeah. that i could relate to so i'm just like you know this is good because it's we're creating that kind of representation yeah Yeah. and which is what bittersweet is about so i i want to be selective but i do want to be a bit more open Open, and i feel like there's a there's a group of people that are not in our circle but still kind of can relate to the circle but they might not just be in it and i feel like we need to start venturing out 100 percent, 100 percent. i just find it is for some reason it's it's hard hard. it is hard so it's just hard to connect with those people like to get hold of them it's almost like because like to we don't be, know yeah you gotta yeah, like we're like status three stuff. steps away yeah you know what i mean yeah. but you're, you're you guys are growing i feel like that in itself and yeah. Un- unfortunately yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes content doesn't speak enough for itself it has to be numbers it has to, and yeah. people see it's that the and they're like okay yeah it is um how was sydney for you guys though did you feel like that really when we went to sydney yeah um i liked it i thought it was a lot of fun to Okay, funny enough, they were easy to get a hold of and yeah. all of them have hundreds I mean, of thousands yeah, of followers, yes. or the majority of them, right? And like when we went to yeah, Sydney, like Veronica, yeah, like, like Mood, all these guys. It's quick, like, yeah. yeah, it was easy to get in touch with everyone. Everyone was down to. Um, in terms of numbers, they didn't translate too well. Mm. We also had technical issues with those episodes, which was really- That's really, really annoying. annoying. Yeah, yeah, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing of like podcasting where it's like yeah. that'll make me want to wrap up we had whole, oh my god we had a couple at the end that. of the year and I was like literally throw the whole camera away Honestly, <laughs> I was so yeah. mad in the studio I was whatever. so mad yeah. we had like an episode with and it was so good we had an episode with Peter Ball and he's so great he, like it was a good conversation oh no just the very end he's my cut and I'm like nah why yeah. Why did that happen? That pissed yeah. me off. Oh, oh yeah, no, Sydney was fun. I think I think we even want to do another trip. Yeah, sometimes. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Really yeah. Do, yeah. And like tap in with more of these people, but yeah. but I feel what you're saying about like the US and the UK. Literally, everyone is easy to get a hold it's, of. It's not even. It's like because they're able to tap into people. Like I'm thinking, like let's say New York, right? Yeah. Like a podcast our size can like this might not mean much to certain people, but then like for someone like myself or like Carlos, it's like. We could tap into somebody like Jim Jones and get him on the podcast, mm. right? Rapper, mm. all this yeah. kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, and he yeah. has a serious following. Mm. He's not hard to get a hold of. If he's down, he's down, that kind of thing. Like I've seen podcasts that are they're bigger than ours, but it's like, you have no relation to Jim. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, that is doable times 10, times 20, times whatever, because there's just more people of it's, success. And it's also the culture, the culture yeah, the of culture like entertainment world, and, yeah. all of that stuff is actually a thing there. People yeah. make their money, exactly. people, like it's normal to have a podcast and have conversations and do all that stuff. Like there are studios for that, for people to come and to hire that. that. So yeah. it's very normal, I feel like in, in the States. Also, there are a lot of like, in, in, the, U, in the UK, it's like you've got your content creators. People know who they are and they all cross collab and da 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 da. And so obviously their like their brand grows. Yeah. Even yeah. and I think the country like it caters to mm. creators in those yeah. kind of creators. Yeah. Like you yeah. look at the UK and they've got like their big channel fours mm. and channel like what's the other one? Foot Asylum. Foot Asylum where yeah. you can actually be like in five, in two years' time, I want to oh, do this. Yeah. Uh, what do we have? We don't have any. What do we, we have? talked about this a while ago. Right, the whole, yeah. We were like, oh, how do we get... We can call them out, but it's like, how do we get in contact with Complex? How do we get in contact with JD? Why do they not reach out to us and like mm. put us on these kind of things? Because it's like... Like, in my mind, I'm just like, who else... But have they established those found, like that foundation yet? Have they established that kind of content yet? Here? Do you know what I mean? Like, do they yeah, have yeah, those series I mean, they where are you can here. get up and... Yeah, but, but do they have that happening here? Yeah, that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I mean, we could also like always go to those those places. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Like, I feel like we're just spilling behind the scenes chat, but I don't really care. 
I'd never really want to approach them because as soon as I approach, I'm asking. So they're doing me a favor. No, if, you if, said if no. You said this to me last time. Me, then I can put a price on it. You can still put a price on it. I don't it. know, if, but not because it's like for them, it's almost like optional. It's like I'm going to them, being like, "Hey, can we do this?" And they're like, "Yep." And then I go, "Can you pay me this much?" And they're like, "You asked me to do this." <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel like they understand. Like, there's budgets to run things. There's like, and I feel like I was watching a, a video on a, a podcast. Have you guys heard of like earn, uh, a podcast called Earn Your Leisure or Earn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. what it's called? Earn yeah? Your yeah, earn your leisure. Yeah, yeah. That's like and the it was talking that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. this girl, you know, the girls from Horrible Decision, you know, Wheezy. Yeah, yeah. And she was talking about. Um, how like she made such a good point about how podcasting is such a grassroots like um like pro- like co- like form of con- of content production right when you think about it if someone was to hire you to be like hey can you do this for me yeah. you are gonna know how to do it the cheapest way possible yes. at a high quality yes, right okay. yeah, but yeah. with these production houses they're thinking. Like we had someone come in and use the studio, right? Just to hire the studio, it was like seven hundred dollars for the day. Yeah. They did that, but then they had like five people on the team. They've got like, every single person's getting paid. You wow. know what I mean? So yeah. it's like the the budget that they're putting in for, for to is, create yeah. what they did for that day, yeah. and maybe like what they've come out with is just because these are clients, these are businesses. They've got money yeah, to spend. Yeah, yeah, so I do, feel yeah. like when you go to these brands, you're going to be able to create it for a lot cheaper, but you put your price on it. And for them, I still feel like it will be reasonable. Mm. I hear it. Do you know what I, I mean? I hear it. Yeah, for sure. I hear it. And also it's just your foot in the door. Once you do that, it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, I've done this. Exactly now the next the door, one, yeah. they're going to be like, oh, wow, there, you yeah. created it. Because mm-hmm. you're going to, for sure, you've been doing this for years. You're going to create something really it's great. Quality, yeah. So yeah. once it's quality, they see mm. that, they're not going to just be able to recreate it. Mm. True. Yeah, we need actually, we, yeah, we definitely need more of that in Australia. Because, yeah, thinking about it, Foot Asylum, JD Sports, Trend Central, all these, getting all these different credits in. And even, like, uh, they got, like, all these mini shows, like, Locked Out or Inside. I don't know if you guys yeah. know about yeah. all that stuff. It's, like, a yeah, 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 yeah. bunch of stuff to just get different credits involved. Yeah. I'm, like, yeah, The marketing budget there the mar- is, also is insane. insane. It's insane. Yeah. Like, what do you mean the winner's getting 100000 or whatever it is? Like, yeah. Wasn't that, was that 100000 or was it a million? Inside out. If, what if I know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think they even had like credits come down from from America as yeah. well, and, and then Australia. Got some, yeah, Australia as well. Yeah, that, girl, yeah, yeah, that yeah. girl from Australia was was part of that as well. I said, I said they are on to yeah. something. We, Apparently, we don't spend on ma- on marketing in this country as much we, yeah. as the rest of the world. Yeah. So I mean, we that's the other thing. Like at the end of the day, we are a really small market. Yeah, even yeah. like outside of. Like Australia as a market is only twenty five million people. Mm. Like it's really small. small. Yeah. Like, I'm sure LA alone has a bigger population. Yeah, it's insane. You know? It's insane. So is it is the answer to move? <laughs> ah. Okay, I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, are we going to? Nah, I, th- I think we can establish ourselves quite well here. Yeah. yeah. And you know we can meet up on news. Anyway, so no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fine. Yeah, we're leaving. Carlos, you're just getting Bro, pushed you guys go there and say your podcast. Would you guys do a season in New York? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That would go off. Do yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen people like shits and gigs and yeah. stuff. They do kind of their rounds. Yeah. But oh, yeah, I think that's sure. the other. Like it's the like. Like honestly, sh- like shits and gigs is another level of like money now. When it's like, <laughs> yeah, like like they're beyond living off this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even like other guys that have gone UK, done like yeah, ten episodes. Uh, UK gone to US, done like five, ten episodes, whatever. And, like it's very dope that you can do that. Um, but I feel like you have to be at the point where you're like you're earning off this to yeah. then go invest because it's like. For any of us right now to just invest. It would just be an expense. Like literally, but it would it would be like, okay, let's merge holiday with this or that. Like you'd really have to plan your life around it. You couldn't mm. just be like, hey, in two months, I reckon we go to New York. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Because it's like, what's that going to cost us? Minimum, if we're there for two weeks. It will cost, yeah. It's not going to yeah. cost less than like 6,000 a person. But I will say, I think the best thing to do is like what you guys are already doing, like grow the platform yeah. and then- reach out like yeah. when you go there reach out and set it. even if it is it's cool you get to go to america and have 100%, 100%. a holiday 100%. but then if you set it up where you're you know you've got your like the studios you've booked you've you've set like actual guests to come on not you're just there and kind of like throwing shots yeah. like you've actually got interviews lined up i think yeah. something will come out of it yeah. i always think something 100%. will come out of it so 
we're just not fortunate to live in a country like where the UK is, where things are growing yeah. at like that kind of rate. So yeah, we kind of have to make it happen. True. I agree with that. Besides, uh, having fun you know, regardless. the change. Sorry? Yeah, yeah having like I'm having a good time. Yeah. I'm oh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> now, I was going to say, um, besides, you know, you being on camera now by yourself. Yeah. Or bittersweet. What other changes is also happening? Like behind the scenes, what can we expect? I know you mentioned like, Hiring out the studio, but oh, what yeah. else is sort of going on that you know you want to tell us behind the scenes? So I don't know if people know. I don't know. I'm starting to kind of establish both the brands. So we've got okay. Bittersweet, the podcast, yeah. which is like all the entertainment side. We've got like the the podcast, like events that we host as Bittersweet, um, and then campaigns. Like we said, we did the Puma campaign, things yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, that is just going to continue going on. Obviously, new host now, it's just going to be myself and new guests every week. Yeah. But then we also have like the studio side, which is kind of like the community side of Bittersweet, where like we have, you know, we go out and do workshops with like young, it's usually like always young black girls or African yeah. girls. Um, we're expanding that now. So we're trying to like, do more things in that space, in that community side. And then the actual Bittersweet Studios, I don't know if you guys have checked out my studio redesign, but I spent like the last month um, redesigning the space. Yeah. And shout out to Mariana from MT Interiors. If you guys are ever looking for an interior designer, she helped me kind of like right. design, like she helped me put my vision together. And I just spent the last month like redesigning the space, making it look like, having my set and then having a separate set for other people who are interested in podcasting in the West that want to come and use the space. Yeah. Um, so we've got like the studio upstairs and then downstairs we have the event space yes, where we yes, have yes. like if, so people have come to us and they've had like, we've had poetry nights in the space, panels, yeah. things like that, just different things. So it's been good. Yeah, definitely check out the space. Out. And I know yeah, guys, sure check it out. snippet of that. But also, I don't know if you touch on this, but, Bittersweet is also curating a lot of workshops as well. Mm. I know you guys have done something for uh, Polar Practice mm. um, and also a few other stuff as well. Mm. This Amazing is this stuff. Is, thank you. This is where like my personal, not personal, but professional life yeah. and I feel like Bittersweet started to so, like intertwine. Of, what a beautiful connection. It was a beautiful this, connection. This did this. Because <laughs> I do a lot of like freelance work, contract work and it's, it's yeah. like – started in marketing and then moved into doing things like, um, and it happened randomly. Like I'd be in the job and then they'd be like, can you do whatever audio work so for this? Happened. Yeah. And then from there it started to become like a, especially in the, I was in that kind of arts slash government space. Yeah. And then I was doing things like strategy and then marketing turned into audio, all that stuff. Right. And then People like Polar Practice, for instance, they with Bittersweet, I was doing events. Obviously, yeah. we had our vision board events or we'll have panels, things like that. And then people reached out saying that, you know, we just like the way you ran that event. Do you think you could do it for us? Yeah. And then I, so that was like me as like my work. And yeah. then I made it a Bittersweet. Okay. Then I made it under the Bittersweet, bittersweet Studios bittersweet thing. Curating. So as in yeah. Bittersweet now can curate for you in this yeah. way, as opposed to, I feel like there's just more, Cause I'm like feeding into the brand as opposed yeah. to like like myself, if yeah. that makes sense. Because I kind of I'm seeing it as yeah. two yeah, one yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. or I want it to be one thing because it's yeah. just easier yeah. for me. So yeah, now I'm like okay, then I can I can curate your event and then I'll just put it through Bittersweet. So yeah. I did that event for Polar Practice where we did like two two events for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. one was like for their men, huh? New Legos. Was yeah, so they wanted to yeah. like collaborate with the black yeah, yeah, brand. Yeah. So we did a, it was for a, a, a mental health research that they had yeah. coming out and they just wanted to create like some sort of, like just have a conversation about it but make an event out of it. And then the other one was, huh? That's awesome. Yeah, it was yeah, really I cool. I saw a banger. I was talking yeah. to Tigus as well. I said, that was a banger. It was a good event. <laughs> yeah, I had nice. a whole conversation with her, you, you know, just chopping up about yeah. this. I was like, yeah, yeah. Daddy, what, what you guys had on that weekend? Very it was a good, a good lineup, yeah. yeah. I, I and then they had the yeah. the sip and paint at the studio, yeah. which was nice. And then the second, the other one was the event. Actually, Noor helped with some of the graphic design stuff. Oh yes, with the yeah. um City, with the council. So it was like creating a event for young African professionals. And you had uh, the the girl that does the skits, yeah. That was Nial was, was there. Peter was there. Sagali. There was a few people. Yeah, that was good too. Yeah, that was a good so lineup. 
Yeah, it was nice. It was actually yeah, really good. That's cool. So that's a cool space. You know, I think that's some, you know, when I look around, we don't really have someone sort of curating and bringing these creative ideas to make it happen as well. Mm. So I was really looking into it. I was like- Not well as well. I think it's yeah. rare for them to be done like well. Yeah. Like fully, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. No, well, because even the little things such as like the menu when- uh, With the, with with the polar practice, practice with the yeah. Practice, the yeah. menu with the co- uh, collaboration. With the cocktails, with, like changing with the cocktails, the names. I, 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 Hungry Hippo remembers the menu. Nah, nah, nah. It was, it was, <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we basically we changed the cocktail names to something uh, related to yes, mental yes, health. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I saw that. I said banger. Yeah. I said, I said, I see what, what you're doing. We're thinking of being intentional. <laughs> nah, guys. I, I'm telling you, we, yeah. we, 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 we just don't watch the the real. We, yeah. we analyze. We see. I see what you're doing, and yeah. I, and that's the stuff that we like. I appreciate it. Yeah. Don't you guys? But it's like I feel like I, you learn so many skills through this. Yeah. Oh, this with, with created bro, my career outside tell, of like even applying for jobs. I will talk, like, I can curate events. I, I, cu- I yeah, curated yeah. I a curated, 210 yeah. person event. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can manage ticket yeah, sales. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can manage X, Y, Z. I can produce content. I like. I can do it all. You can do, even just think about it. It's like, this is a business this at the business. end of the day. Like, I'm running, I'm doing this. You know what I mean? Man. I'm business. business. I'm standing on business 2024. Do you guys understand? So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> are you stupid or are you, are you dumb? Wake are you stu- up. Wake <laughs> up. No, but I feel like so many skills that I've learned just through, like, uh, it started yeah, off as yeah, a podcast yeah. and it just turned into, like, all these things that now I'm getting opportunities to yeah. do this outside i'm sure you guys yeah. would have experienced i do that. think that's a really dope thing like we've all done in general is like we we kept our hands busy with something and that has just given us so many skills yeah, yeah. so many things that like to be fair like our peers a lot of them do not have just because they have not experienced mm. it. just because they because you're not in it and you have you to d- figure yeah, it out right? yeah, it's like sure. but like because we have we just have this plethora of skills now it's like yeah oh, this is sick man the friends that you just create have like this friendship yeah, itself that too, is like, yeah. that's, that's podcast. Mm. Facts. Like would, this would never have happened. Yeah. If, if like, I, I don't think like I would. would run into each other at Rhythm every now and then. And I don't even know if we like, know, if know we'd interact. If we'd, yeah. yeah, we just yeah. like bump into each other and that's it. Like, ah, yeah. she spilled her drink on me. <laughs> 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 that would be, cr- that's crazy. Yeah. Do you ever think about that? Like if you never did any oh. of this, like what would your life be like? I think about that a lot just the grand scheme, because it's like a lot of my life was dependent on my parents where they moved, mm. right? Yeah. And so it's like this country, that country, that country. And like, sometimes I'm like, what if after the Middle East, we went to America? Because that was part of the plan. Mm. What if we went to Brisbane instead? Because that was the other plan, right? Mm. And then when they came to Melbourne, they just happened, they like, they got to Melbourne and they went, yeah, we'll live on this side of the mm. city, right? And then I was like, literally yesterday, I was thinking about this. I'm like, I'm friends with Carlson Daniel now just because that happened. How did you guys meet church. actually? Church. But it's like, so I'm attending this church. Daniel's family decide to change, change churches. Change. They end up bringing friends, whatnot. So like literally all through that. And I'm like- Were you already at the church? No, no, no. I came to the church through Daniel because my church shut down. So oh. like, look for new church. Daniel's yeah. like, yo, come come to this church. Yeah. And then this guy was posted. Wait, well, <laughs> two things. Um, First of all, because I'd already been at the church for like- You were there way before Daniel actually. Yeah, yeah. Four years before Daniel? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then, sorry, the other thing is mad. Like, what do you mean your church shut down, bro? Ah, like, what happened? <laughs> like, I thought you, you know, already knew. I said, "Yeah, let me." No, you know what? I just, you heard it too. I heard it. But I was no, like, like okay. I said, it shut sounds, down. But, that sounds but, reasonable. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually don't know what happened. Like the two people that was like the yeah, pastors they running it, they just man. went interstate, opened up another fair, church. Fair, I said, fair, "Ah, fair, okay, that's fair. a shame." Yeah. It happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, like literally just because of like these random decisions that my parents made, that Daniel's parents made, that Carl's made as an individual. All it's like. What the heck? Like we're all just worked and because I was generally like, I don't know what my life would be without these guys in there. Mm. You know what I mean? It's so funny it's how crazy. like little things could have happened. Because even when I lived in Egypt, one friend was going to Europe, mm. but I was going to Australia. But go. at the same time, it could have easily been my mom. Yeah, we're going over there as well. Follow them, right? Yeah. Even at, I think I don't know what age. I think just before went to high school, mm. my my dad's brother lives in Canada. He called us up. He said, "Hey, I want um." Catherine, which is my older sister, and Carlos, obviously myself, to come down and, and, and hey, <laughs> good to know, yeah. uh, to come down and study at Canada, mm. right? That was, that almost happened as well. But my dad was like, ah, oh, nah, they, they're just going to stay here in Melbourne, mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, dad, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> it would have been cool, but at the same time, I'm like, man, all these little things almost happened. Literally. Almost went and lived over there instead of over here. It's crazy. You know, little decisions 
credit this. Bro, like decisions that weren't even yours. Yo, it weren't even made yours. your life. But then also now it's like the decisions that are mine are making my life. Uh, it's yeah. so wild. I, I thought I was going to, I was thought I was with the love of my life before I went to London. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be, I, I was in a relationship. And then that ended up being like trash. And I was, I was always <laughs> talking about going to my cousin. I have an older cousin who's just always been that person to like, she's just been a really good role model in my life. And she was like, you know, if you, you should think about traveling abroad, like studying abroad. And I was always like, yeah, you know, that would be cool. I but it was just kind of that. those thoughts mm. that just kind of in your mind and you never think anything of yeah. it. And then I started just, I was in the relationship at the time. So right. that could never be, it was never a possibility because mm. I don't know why you're so young and six months is not mm. crazy. But I was like, I can't leave this relationship. But I would look at it online. I'd look at New York and look at London. And yeah. then that was it. Once that relationship was done, I was straight, went straight to that <laughs> uni. I went and put my application in yeah. and then I met Rahel overseas. Yep. And then that's wow. when, do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, that yeah. all kind of happened. Crazy. And then this, and I didn't even know her. We lived on the same side of the city and we had never met cross path, nothing. So the fact that that happened and now we're here, is just crazy. That is wild. Even like this is how bittersweet started. Yeah, you it's crazy. I mean? you it's know, like, you just saying, bum dad, let me go over there. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing over meet here? This girl. Boom, boom. Bring it back over here. What Continue it here, like it's drop just her in five years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Not. It's all love. Yeah, yeah, yeah is it? Is. No, I'm just joking, guys. No, it is, it is. Like, but but what's next? What's next? Well, obviously, you taught us a little bit, but where can we expect an episode to be dropped? Any exciting news coming up? W expect in July, the month of July. Oh, I'm July, gonna say. Wow. Obviously, we just wow. started, but the new season will be dropping very soon. Um, some guests, you guys, are you going to see familiar faces? You might see familiar faces, um, but just expect different. It's going to be very different. Yeah. I feel like it's obviously naturally it's going to be different because it's yeah. just me, but y interesting guests. Um, we've got some experts coming in with you guys so are going to have some familiar oh, faces. Yeah, it's like going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Hey, but we're excited for it and we're actually ready for the change as well. I know yeah. at the start, I don't know if people were ready for the change. Yeah. Right. But now this feels normal. Right, we're excited for the next chapter for you guys as well, or for yourself at least. Yeah. As well. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys check out the new space as well. I don't, when is that dropping? Yeah, guys, I'm going to drop the new... Make sure you guys sign up to the mailing list. Yeah. What's up with people? Uh, you, you guys know, haven't signed up to the mailing list. Nah, mm. bro, I realize I, I can I just did. get those codes by did calling you. You? No. you know what I mean? No, Daniel did. Daniel, Daniel did. Daniel's a real one. Don't, no, Daniel's Daniel is a real one. Yeah, I'm the one that's... <laughs> nah. I said you, God bless, this, nah. that. Let I, I said, I said God thing. bless too. You know what? You guys, are always, you guys always have your moments. Everyone has their moments when they're my favorite. Sometimes <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, Marwa. You know why you're right, you know? Daniel might not have said this, but Daniel signed up to the mailing list. I promise you, Daniel signed up to be nosy. Uh, mm -hmm. And discounts and to be nosy. Uh, really? He can, Are you going to oh, yeah, yeah. him like that on uh -huh. his own your show? I love the guy. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah. He's probably going to come as good. You, this I don't care. If you're nosy, be nosy. Uh, be nosy and, 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 uh, and yeah, sign up. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys yeah. to be nosy. But also to rub it in our face, he's going to say, did you guys sign up? Because I yeah. did. <laughs> you know? yeah. 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 What do you yeah. mean you guys didn't sign what up? What do you mean you didn't sign up? He should be. They should be right here right now. But sign up to the mailing list. The ones who sign up get an early early sneak mm. peek of the actual video yeah. but it will be dropping very very soon so you guys can see the final the final look of the studio hey like i said i've seen it it looks amazing uh we should actually pay a visit yeah you guys should come actual. yeah yeah, yeah. we just yeah. waiting for our invitation mm. i don't know like on the show some people have no, said to do another launch no, 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 i'm no, like that's kind of dragged <laughs> yeah no not on the show no no we'll show. talk after the episode yeah, guys, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. did just, you not get my invitation <laughs> What? 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 That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I was, no. was, it, was it in the mailing list or what? <laughs> yeah, it was. Dang. VIP. There's like My special. Bad, bad. Oh, you must have missed that, guys. Yeah. 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 No, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just pull up to the studio to, to check it out. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I'm going to invite you guys soon to come through. Nah, we were ready for it. But this has been so much fun. Oh my God, I miss, I miss this actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad you finally did an episode in our studio as well. I know. I came here last time, but you weren't here. Yeah. But this feels like, actually, I should be throwing the shade because they've had this studio for, I think, over a year now and they haven't called us once. It's crazy. We're still, we're still trying to put it together. You, didn't, you guys even missed Rahel because you were that slow on calling yeah, this week. Like, you had guests back to back. Yeah, well, but you didn't little call do us. you know is that she's actually on next week's episode without you. Yeah, yeah. So how about that? Yeah, I never so she's actually still doing it. She's still doing it. Let me her right now. Yeah, she's still going to do podcasting because yeah. you didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know that she's doing um, <laughs> sweet. Sweet what? Sweet bitter. 
Anyway, the podcast, and the the remixing. What is it called? The spin off. Yeah, the spin off. Uh, spin off. Oh, that'd be Anyways, you guys could have just said, "I'm sorry." It could have just oh, been yeah, like I'm my sorry. bad guys. That's it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's hard. Cool. hard habits. But it's all right. It's okay. I'm here now, and we should just focus on the now, right? Make sure you guys follow Bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> you said I'm here now. Carl yeah. said, "All right, man." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bittersweet, bittersweet and Bittersweet uh, Studios. Bittersweet dot podcast and Bittersweet Studios underscore. Mm. Guys, follow us on on all that, and yeah. you can follow my my personal to see all there. Mm. Yeah, I'm genuinely very excited for the next season. I um, same here because I work all from home. I would actually sit there and watch all and watch episodes. it. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That makes me feel good. We yeah. we actually watch your stuff. Yeah, we we actually do. <laughs> okay, too is much, he, too much doubling he, down. Yeah, I don't think I he's like, like, going to see what right now. Her face was like, I don't believe. I don't you. know what's going on no, right now. Her face was like, I don't think you watch our podcast. I, I should do. I tune in. You watch it. You I just watch it. watch it more than just the clips. No, I should generally actually. Anyways, I, I do watch your stuff. Catch us next week with the whole crew. Yeah, because look, okay, I miss Daniel and Mile, bro. Are they back next week? Yeah, Lord sure. willing. Yeah. Oh, it's getting extended? I mean, I think me and Carl did a very good job today. Yeah, this was good. Yeah. It might be an announcement next week. What announcement? Yeah, oh. like yeah. maybe we just tell him, hey, maybe. stay stay there for another couple maybe of weeks. Maybe we're cutting if off podcasts. If you guys want well. me to just like be a guest again, just say it. All the time. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that's what it's That's your to. seat now. Yeah. 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 Right We'll here. just get a, yeah. This is actually I feel like this is, cool. isn't this Marwa's seat? What? Don't do this to Marwa. <laughs> Marwa, I love you, sis. Don't let them, don't let them do this to you. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining us for another episode. Do make sure you follow um, Wintana, Bittersweet, and Bittersweet Podcast, and Bittersweet Studios, and get excited for the next episodes to come. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Peace. Bye, guys.